This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! Clucking the childs. Dangle clacks right out of the gate. I always forget about the clucking childs and I had my microphone muted, but if everything's okay now, let's just pretend like that never happened. <clears throat> Pow, all right. Well, hello and welcome everybody. Welcome in mother truck and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. Yeah, you, you found it, you're in the right spot. It's mother trucking vlog day, let's go. Full on, I mean, when I talk about full on action packed vlogs, this is a full on action packed vlog here I got planned out for you guys tonight. The timestamps for anybody in that replay crew, make yourselves known in the comments, hashtag replay crew. I wanna get to know you, I wanna see your faces. Those timestamps, they're the first pinned comment right underneath this video. They also get turned into chapters, so you can just kinda click and navigate the vlog however you wanna navigate it. That's up to you, appreciate it, but uh, yeah, hell yeah. Thank you guys for being here. I see you there in the chat. VHS Queen is here tonight. <laughs> that Patrick Conquest is here tonight. Addy Tooney's here tonight. Eve is here. Rocco's here. Bearded Vape God is here. Ventigard is here. Steve. Steve Vapes, there's two Steves. I see him, Matthew. I appreciate you guys being here on, on, on Thursday that is the vlog day. So, like I said, full on, action-packed vlog for you guys planned out. Let me give you guys a real quick rundown. In fact, before I even get to this real quick rundown, I, I, wanna, I wanna point something out and I wanna say something. This vlog tonight is dedicated to our friend, Matt Sinister. It's been a year, man. It's been a year since we lost Matt Sinister. Technically, this vlog should have happened last week because last week was one year exactly that, uh, that our friend Matt Sinister passed away. And so I wanna dedicate this vlog to the life and memory of, of our friend Matt Sinister. Such a good guy. He became so close with so many people in my Patreon. I'm wearing my Matt Sinister Powerbomb the, Power the World t-shirt. There's not a damn day really that goes by that I don't think about Matt Sinister, you know? I, I walk into my office, I see a giant rad poster on my wall. I'm flipping through Netflix and I see Cobra Kai. It makes me think of Matt Sinister. It, it's, <laughs> it's a constant thing and I wish he was still around because I'd love to get his, uh, I'd love to get his takes on some things, you know? I'd like to get his takes on some things. The, the new Flash movie, I'd, I'd love to know what Matt Sinister thinks about the new Flash movie. I'm not gonna get to hear what Matt Sinister thinks about the new Flash movie, unfortunately. So tonight, uh, I just wanna have, you know, so some memories of Matt Sinister and not just that, not just the memories of Matt Sinister. We're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a little moment of silence. We're going to have a 10 bell salute for our friend, Matt Sinister. Um, yeah, it's been a year. I kind of, I kind of can't believe it. I, I kind of can't believe it. it's been an entire year and that, uh, man, it just bums me out. He was such a great guy. He was such a good friend to so many people, you know? And like I said, in the Patreon, we, we all got real close. We got close with Matt Sinister, man. I, I got to hang out with him. I met him a few times and we hung out in uh, Texas. I flew him out to Texas because he needed to be there because it's Matt Sinister. And tonight, this tonight's for Matt Sinister. 100% tonight's for Matt Sinister. So I'm just gonna have... Uh, I just want to have a little moment of silence if we could. Hashtag powerbomb the world. I just want to uh, have a quick moment of silence and I want to do uh, a 10 bell salute. Matt was, a, Matt was a wrestler, you see. For anybody that doesn't know Matt Sinister, he was a wrestler. In fact, let me read this little, little blurb right here from, uh, from uh, SoCal Uncensored, which is a local wrestling publication. Um, He's, he's, been, he's been wrestling since the 90s. Uh, he went to Calgary, Canada and trained at the Heart Dungeon 
under Bruce and Ross Hart. He was a, a wrestling fan to the bone. He wrestled all over Southern California, most notably for EFW, Revolution Pro. He was the pro-Mexican Lucha Libre heavyweight champion for a long time. Matt Sinister also had a brief stint in XPW. He did uh, color commentary for EWF. Um, he was a good guy, you know. He was a damn hell ass good guy. So, if I could, uh, look, it's it's been rough. Let's just have a little moment of silence. Ten bells for Matt Sinister. I hope you're resting in peace, Matt Sinister. And damn it, I really want to know what you think about the new Flash movie. God, I would love your hot take on that. I would love his hot take on so many things. You know, and it bums me out that there's people in the chat now that maybe have arrived just this year or in recent memory that aren't don't don't ever get to know Matt Sinister, you know? <laughs> they don't get to hear his 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 color commentary in the chat, you know? It's uh it's a damn thing, you know. But rest in peace, Matt Sinister. It's for you. And I'm, I'm sorry, Matt. I'm not going to be uh, skipping news and advocacy tonight. In fact, news and advocacy might be running a little long. Because here's that, here's that rundown I promised you. Here's that one rundown I promised you. Um, hi. That's the first thing it says is hola. We, we do have a beer coming up. We have a very sentimental special beer tonight. We're going to do some what I've been vaping. We're going to do some what you've been vaping assignment, America. Uh, I got some news. None of it's good, you know. <laughs> but I do have some news. We're going to sing happy birthdays. Uh, we're going to talk about some of uh, the title says Grimm's Mind Blowers. And uh, we'll get there in the news and advocacy. But I've had my mind blown recently today. And uh, I want to share this with you. And uh, hopefully your mind is blown as well. Uh, it's Shark Week. It's Shark Week here as well. It, you know, I didn't realize this was such a busy week, but it's Shark Week here as well because we have some more uh, AI art from Kent that I want to share that is just some of the funniest stuff you've ever seen in your life. So we're going to do Shark Week with Kent. That's going to be fantastic. Birthdays, if anybody has a birthday, let me know. What up to you, Mike Sullivan? Appreciate you. If anybody has any birthdays, throw them out there. Um, somehow get my attention. Try to throw them out there in the chat because uh, there's no patron birthdays. There are zero, zero patron birthdays recently coming up anytime. So anybody else's birthday, if it's your birthday, let me know. I'll, I'll sing you happy birthday. I will. No questions asked. I would like to have a contest tonight too. Does anybody want to have a contest? Let's do a contest. We're going to do a contest. I posted a teaser of it on Instagram, but hang on. I would, I would very much. Yeah, see, this is going to be, you're going to see my my man boobs. You're going to see my nips poking out right here. The whole stream because the air conditioner is blowing on me and, 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 and it's cold as a witch's tit in here. I got nipples poking out. We're going to do a little contest today. I would like to send this to somebody if I could. What is that you ask? Well, it's no big deal. It's just uh, you know, super limited edition, lime green, grim army, skeleton, you know, uh, empire. It's no big deal. It's whatever. These aren't even released yet, but I'm gonna give one to somebody tonight during the contest, which we'll get there when we get there. I do also have some mail. I do also have a retro vape all planned out. We're going to be building some two millimeter coils. And then we're going to have a very random liquid tasting at the end. Hopefully, I say this with no irony involved, but hopefully this vlog will not go super long tonight. 
I always, at the beginning of the vlog, I feel like, oh, we've been only 10 minutes. We got plenty of time. We got all night to stream and yammer on and do whatever we want. And then it gets to be, you know, like 8 p.m. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we've been streaming for three and a half hours and we didn't do the retro vaping yet. We didn't do the liquid tasting yet. So I'm going to try to go at a good pace tonight. If we run long, we run long, but that's not the, the point. Soft carrots. Good morning to you, soft carrots. Happy to see you in the chat. So with that all said and done and out of the way, let's uh, let's just go have a beer. Actually, the first thing we should do is, is check in on any super chats that came in because I think I saw a few. We can get over there. In fact, there was one from Slater that may not have made it. Has it, did it transfer over? Slater, okay, Slater. Slater in with the super chat. He always, hang on, I need, I need a vape. I don't know why I don't have a vape in my hand. He always has a super chat before the stream even starts going. Slater, you're, you're the first. You win literally every single time. But Slater said, my dog came screaming through the house wearing new rock boots, a leather vest, and a giant flowing mullet. Oh, so he was bogan. He was bogan. Screaming, give Nick money or I'll eat your toes. So here, oh shit. Yo, yo, appreciate you, Slater. Yo, yo, love, hashtag, you know where it goes. Hashtag, boosh goo, you know where it goes. <laughs> hashtag, my dog has me hostage. Uh, listen, here's the thing, Slater, uh, there's nothing I can do for you. You're in New Zealand. <laughs> no one's coming to help you. No one's coming to help you. You're going to have to yell to your neighbor in New Zealand. <sighs> Tribal Buddha, super gracious of you. Got a favor to ask. Can you do mail between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m.? I am working second shift, and that's my lunch hour. Okay, between 5 and 6? I, maybe. I can't make any promises, Tribal Buddha. I can't. I don't have a package from Tribal Buddha. I do. I do have a package from Tribal Buddha. I do have a package from Tribal Buddha. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to vape mail before six. But if I can, then see, I have mail towards the end right now, Tribal Buddha. I have mail towards the end right now. I'll keep an eye on the clock. I will do my best, but I can make no promises. I will try my best for you, though, Tribal Buddha. Enjoy second shift. Woof, that's rough. Enjoy second shift. Actually, I used to really love second shift. Second shift used to be my jam, you know? Just just was my jam. Appreciate you, Tribal Buddha. Uh, Bearded Vape God says, how's your father? Oh, he's doing pretty good, you know? Uh, I just talked to him this last weekend. Um, he's, he's doing as good as, as he possibly can be, and I, I very appreciate you asking. And the answer is generally always going to be the same. It's generally going to be, he's doing as good as he possibly can. For anybody not in the loop, um, my dad's had uh, Parkinson's disease for the last 35 years, which is an extraordinarily long time to have Parkinson's disease for 35 years. It's a degenerative neuro disease. So, you know, I appreciate people asking how he's doing it. it it's degenerative disease, so it, on, it only gets worse. It actually doesn't get any better. He has some really great weeks, some really less than great weeks. Uh, we're constantly always trying to, you know, be one step ahead, and, you know, he needs to get up and out of bed, so we install some poles. He needs an inflatable bed, so we get him this new bed that will, like, you know, cradle him and let him sleep through the night, and there's all sorts of, like, handrails and bars all over his apartment and things like that, so... He's coping the best way that he possibly can. And Beard of Vape God, thank you. I mean, I, I appreciate you inquiring. I appreciate you inquiring. Gate Gunner, that's really gracious of you, Great Gate Gunner. Uh, me and a few friends are vaping as we watch this, and you inspired us to start our own podcast for vaping advocacy and other stuff. <laughs> we love your content, and you're a great person. Hashtag powerbomb the world. And I just turned 20 today. Gate Gunner, happy birthday. Let me, uh, let me write your name down here so when we get to the birthdays, I can sing to you. But uh, yes, 
start a podcast, start a podcast, start a YouTube, get on Instagram, get on Twitch, get on social media in Facebook and the TikToks and talk about vaping. Defend vaping everywhere and anywhere you can. This is the encouragement that everybody's waiting for to start that YouTube channel, you know? Start it, start a podcast, start that YouTube, start streaming. Get on there and tell people you vape and defend vaping, you know? There's no time like right now to do that. Seriously, seriously. It's lacking and we need more of it. Uh, happy birthday to you, Gate Gunner. SVK Vapes says, first off, love you, bro. Hey, SVK, love you, bro. Watch the fiddle replay, and boy, I was surprised at how awesome it was. Uh, best yet, on vacation as of today. Love you all. Hashtag powerbomb the world. Rest in peace, Matt Sinister. Rest in peace, Matt Sinister, for, for real. Like, realer than real deal Holyfield. Rest in peace, Matt Sinister. And enjoy your vacation, SBK Vapes. I'm going on vacation in August. You won't see me for a week. You won't see me. You won't hear from me. I'm disappearing for a week. It's going to be great. Uh, Bearded Vape God says, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. My father has bone cancer. Can you send some love? Absolutely. Send in all the love to Bearded Vape God's father, currently f afflicted with bone cancer. Awful. You know, my hero, Penn Jillette, once told me that uh, the, the best thing you can do as a human is to donate blood, and the second best thing you can do as a human is to get bone marrow typed because bone marrow typing uh, allows bone marrow transplants for things like bone cancer, and it saves, apparently, getting bone marrow typed will save more lives than actually donating blood. And uh, I've done neither of those things because I'm a filthy, tattooed, you know, <laughs> hoodlum, but... All the love, all the love to your dad, Bearded Vape God, 100% of it, straight to him. Appreciate you being here tonight. Scoochy McReynolds, how's it going? It's going great. We're vlogging. What could be better? <laughs> Nothing could be better than right now. Nothing. Analog IDC, uh, thanks for helping me quit smoking. Well, thank you for letting me help you quit smoking. And listen, you did all the hard work. <laughs> this has been my generic canned response to this statement for like the last 10 years. And that is, I I'm, ex I'm honored that I could have helped you. That's my mission. That's my goal is I want to help you. But you have to remember that you did all the hard work. You made the decision to quit. You went and bought products. You went and did research. You went and read, you know, blog posts and watch YouTube videos. You did all the hard work. You did all the research. You did all the boots on the ground work. You know, the success is yours and yours alone. I'll just be your cheerleader. I'll go, go analog. No more smoking. Never again. You did the hard work, analog. The great Seamus says... Hangouts was fun last night, but today I am sick. Oh no, so I don't think I'll be joining, but yo yo and salutations everyone. You're sick today? I'm sorry to hear that, Seamus. That sucks butts. Who got you sick? Who did it? Who in the Patreon got you sick? I'll, I'll, I'll reprimand them. Or I won't, because that's impossible to get sick through the internet. But you also said, uh, yeah, maggots, maggots. They're falling like rain. Shamus. 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 Yeah. Dave Anderson. Shout out to the UK crew. UK crew. Nothing but shout outs to the UK crew. Like mountains of shout outs to the UK crew. I can't wait to go back to Birmingham this year, this October. I'm going to be back for Vapor Expo. Love going to the UK. Love the UK crowd. Hashtag UK crew all day long. Shout out to yourself, Dave Anderson. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for those super chats. That's very gracious of you. Now, now what I would like to do, now that we're definitely running long, beer? Yes. Yeah, yep. Well, this is what we're going to be tasting tonight. It's been literally years since I've had this beer. I think the last time I had this beer 
was in 2014. If I'm remembering correctly, which I'm probably not, this is the Duchess, the Duchess de Bergongi. And I know I'm not pronouncing that right. I've never been able to pronounce it right. And I'm not ashamed of it. I can't pronounce a lot of things. This is Duchess de Bergongi. And apparently I've been wrong about this brew for like the last eight years I've been wrong. I thought, hang on. I'll even use the Matt Sinister Kiss Army bottle opener that he got me because we loved Kiss and Kiss fucking rules. And I ripped off the Kiss Army logo for my own. So hope Gene Simmons never sees this. I thought I was operating under the impression, first of all, has anybody in the chat ever had the Duchess? Like the Duchess de Bergonga? Have you? I have, and it's great. And this whole time, this whole entire time, I was operating under the assumption that this beer was a sour beer, like categorized as a sour. It's not. What? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's not a sour. It's just sour. It's like not all sour beers are sour type of thing, but not all no, how does it go? Not all sour beers, not all beers that taste sour are categorized as a sour. I think that's the I think that's the message I'm trying to bring home. This is technically a red ale, which I'm not like a super huge fan of. Generally, I'm not a I'm just not a fan of red ales. It says uh Belgian Top fermented reddish ale with a blend. It's a blend of eight and 18 month old beers following a careful maturation in oak casks. So this is brewed and then aged in oak casks for anywhere from eight to 18 months. And what we end up with in the bottle is a blend of some of those aged beers. Some of them might have slightly different flavor profiles, like very slightly different flavor profiles. And that's one of the things that, from what I understand reading about this beer, is that it it varies pretty wildly from like batch to batch. So the Duchess that I had in 2014 isn't the exact same Duchess that I'm getting now because it's different batches and different aging, you know, times in the oak casks and it gives slightly different flavors. This beer is freaking delicious. Duality of self, you've had it. Let's pour. You know it's delicious then. Let's just pour it. Yeah, it's going to be a reddish ale. I'm pouring it into a uh, Bull and Bush 71. Shout out to uh, DJ Mattress, even though I can't hit the air horn right now. And boom, that's Duchess. You want to talk about no head to drink through like a man? You want to talk about zero head to drink through like a man. It's in the Duchess. It's in the Duchess. Uh, what is that? Jesse Karn's birthday. All right. I'm writing that name down, Jesse. Oh, for the birthdays. Thank you, Addie Tooney. Thank you, Addie Tooney. Now on to the Duchess. What I remember from this beer is only the sour part of it. I remember everything else is really tasty, but I can't picture in my head what the rest of this beer tastes like because I only can remember that like upfront, sour, like ah, it's going to sound bad if I say it this way, vinegary, little, little vinegary, vinegary, uh, DJ mattress. <laughs> Sorry, that was way too loud. Sorry, that was way too loud. So let's do it again. Okay, sorry, that was way too loud. All I remember is the upfront vinegary, alcoholy, sour flavor of this. So, cheers. Here's to you, Duchess. You know who you know who first introduced me to this beer? It's not something I like to talk about so much these days. It was Ruby Roo. Get out of here. Get the F out of here. That is delicious. Upfront, sour, like sour, like jowls, watering of the jowls, sour patch kids, sour. My mouth is still watering. Just thinking about the sourness level of this beer. Sorry, 
sour, sour. I should have given a heads up to the headphone users. Damn, I'm so, I'm always inconsiderate of the headphone users. And I shouldn't be, but I am. Being a headphone user myself, I sit here at my computer all day long with headphones on. When I'm editing, when I'm watching anything, it's all through headphones. I should know better. I should know better. Flanders, or oh, here, wait, wait, we got a subject matter expert in Rob. Flanders Red, yeah. Sour in nature. They all are. Uh, mostly also get that vinegar character. Yeah, it does have a vinegary character, but the vinegary character of it is followed up so so intensely by like this overwhelming sweetness. There's like this overwhelming cherry tart sweetness that follows it. It's such a clean beer. It's such a clean beer that it feels like these two things, like these two descriptors of sour cherry and clean shouldn't go together. I can't explain it. It's, it's sorcery, it's witchcraft, it is a sour beer. It's not technically a sour beer, but I'm sweating. I'm sweating under my hat, you know? Sweating under my hat. That's, that'll give you the, an idea of the sour level of this, of this brew. It's so good. It's crazy good. I get like <clears throat> cherry grape, like dark purple grape and cherry flavors from this. It's like a fruity sour, but it's not a fruity sour. It's a red ale. It's a Flemish red ale, but it just tastes like a fruity sour. It's freaking delicious. I don't know what to pair with it. Maybe poor kids. Yeah. Let's try that on and let's try Amertorium's Raspberry Ripple. This has been sitting here. This is not a, get a heavily used device at the moment. I don't think I've picked this up in about a week. But let's see. You can tell by the way that it vapes. You can tell an RDA has been sitting for a while. There's a distinct sound. There's like a distinct crackle to it. When you can tell that your RDA has been sitting, this RDA has been sitting, I can tell. Delightful. That is a delightful pairing. Amatorium, raspberry ripple. It actually makes the Duchess de Bourgogne taste a little bit sweeter than it is, than, you know, than the sweetness that's already in it. But really, Poor Kids Discord, I think, is where this is uh, really going to uh, go bananas. Turkish tobacco. Listen, Chris the Vape Guy, I am a firm believer that any tobacco liquid pairs with a pairs with beer. Any tobacco liquid will pair with any beer. And that's the that's like what I can rely on, you know? It's like, "Oh, I'm drinking a uh, this, I'm drinking a uh, this, I'm drinking a uh, that, I'm drinking a Guinness, maybe I'm drinking a Miller High Life, maybe I'm drinking another fruited sour tobacco." I don't have any tobacco flavors going at the moment, but poor kids of Discord Poor kids of Discord Better, better. That's better than the Amatorium. Damn, that's good. Damn, that's good. Damn, that's hell ass good. And Duchess is so good. <clears throat> Crazy good. <laughs> the Duchess, 10 out of 10, would definitely recommend, would 100%ly recommend. Yeah, I get that, Sally. Yes, tobacco liquids taste like dirt. I've had plenty of tobacco liquids that taste like dirt. I've had plenty of tobacco liquids that taste like <coughs> peanut skins. That seems to be the biggest one. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> gross. Oh, that's gross. Burp life. <coughs> Burp life. Sorry. I've had plenty of tobacco liquids that taste like, you know, peanut skins. That's what I always come back to is peanut skins. Quill bro swaggins. Chilling, talking about tobacco liquids, tasting like dirt and peanut skins. Anyway, there are some, don't give up hope on tobacco flavors. There are some, some stellar, stellar tobacco flavors out there. All right, you guys. Well, now that we got a beer sort of coursing through our system, uh, I'm going to take a second. Let's uh, talk about a few things that I've been vaping. It, it's not much.
Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Living Room Guy here. I'm going to tell you about some stuff that I've been vaping over the course of the week, and I just want to remind everybody that every Monday, all of this stuff goes back into my office, and then over the course of the week, it slowly makes its way back out here. Whenever I leave my office, I look, and I grab generally two things. It's generally a pod and a mod together, and that's how they travel around the house. Well, over the course of the week, things end up here in the living room, and this is the stuff that I truly, truly vape on. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a pocket pod. There's one pod out here, it's this. It's been out here, it's been in my pocket, it's been in the car, it's been literally everywhere I go lately, and it's the newest, updatedest pop reel. I'm gonna have a review for it really soon, but holy crap, I love this pod. Truly, truly an excellent vape from that pod. Like, shockingly good, like surprisingly good vape from a pop reel pod. This guy, uh, it's the Cherry Pine. It's the MV on the inside and mouth to lung. I have an unmatchy matchy Galisi battery, but that's fine. I used to have a cool orange battery that went there, but it's on the charger right now. Mouth to lung. It's 12 milligram face meets DIY cheese your guava jelly. I love mouth to lung. Bury me in mouth to lung. Can't seem to put this thing down. Yeah, that's the Unicorn Vert V1 with the original Blaze, My Vapes Blaze RTA on top. Shout out to Tribal Buddha because the hashtag Club Sinister, Matt Sinister, Sinister Cooler is inside this. I like this Mech RTA combo for so many reasons, but one of the reasons I love it is for the moment of literally right now. This battery is dying. This battery is dead. It needs to be replaced. And I know that when I put that freshly charged battery in there, I'm gonna have just an incredible vape experience. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Got this recently. Can't stop using it. Can't stop showing it off. Can't stop fucking taking pictures of it. It's the Red Skeleton Edition Empire. It's got a red and black nitrous RDTA on top and vaping like a champion. I ended up with a big old three millimeter single coil in this. We did that on the last Tuesday vape fiddle over on Twitch. I've basically just been vaping this nonstop. The RDTA is working perfectly. It continuously drains the liquid. Occasionally I look up, I see the little tank is empty. I go, hey, that's fine because it's on a squonk. So I just give this a big squonk, fills the tank back up. I just vape like normal. Genius, like this might be an end game type of vape for me. Getting some intensely good crackle from this coil and it's uh, Twisted Timmy's funnel cake on the inside. During the summertime, I always try to find, you know, some summery flavors, peaches and strawberries and lemonades and things like that, refreshing summery flavors. But this is a funnel cake and that just reminds me of Knott's Berry Farm, Ghost Rider at Night, Summertime. And the last thing that I have been going ham on, you guys, H-A-M, ham on this thing, Caveman Mods. It's their mech. I don't know what the name of it is. I only know that it's the Caveman Mods mech, but it can go from a side-by-side -side mech into a single tube mech. It's got this slick little springy continuous contact switch on it. Just this last Tuesday on Twitch on the Vape Fiddle, ultimately decided to put uh, a Twisted Messes V1 on here. It looks great. It works great. It vapes great. Lunar Super Lunar Sweet Mango from Indonesia's on the inside. Bush 9000, this is like the fucking vape of the week. And if I wanted to, on the fly, you see, I can just disassemble this and turn it into a tube mech. Yeah, well, kinda, there's a little gap right there, so I need to fiddle around with, you know, the little plastic housing on the inside, but still vapes. And honestly, I know this isn't the review and the review is coming soon, hits a little bit harder in tube mode than it does in SBS mode yet like noticeably harder in tube mode. Otherwise, that's it. That's all I got out here, except for a, a Lagunita Zero Alcohol Hoppy Refresher. It's pretty good. Time to throw it back to Desk Guy. Hey, Desk Guy here. Uh, as you already saw, uh, Ethos Dual 18650 PMP Coilhead, get out of here. 
Uh, just really consistently good, awesome, flavorful vape. This was also set up on the last Tuesday vape fiddle over there on the Twitches. This is the Avalanche V2. Yee chip regulated on the inside. There is uh, something, watermelon. This is the Turkish, Turkish melon, I believe. The Turk watermelon. You got that, uh, you know, what's on top of this? What's that RDA called? The Haku Phenom. Haku Phenom on top. Delightful. Uh, that's been getting loads of use. As far as pods on the desk go, it's usually these two. It's the Nevox Phelan A1 and the Vaporesso Cross 3 Nano. This one just happens to be the super slick uh, Grim Green version, of which I have like a few to give away. I'm slowly running out of those as well. Been going uh, pretty ham on that Falcon Legend. Been going pretty ham on the Falcon Legend sitting on top of the Twisted Timmies. I took this with me in the car the other day just because I wanted to cloud chase my car. Still really loud. <laughs> Still really, really fucking loud. But it works. I guess second to lastly, just standard issue black uh, Empire, clear door, Twisted Timmy's batteries. This is Lunar Sweet Mango in here as well with the Squirita. There's too many good vapes. There's too many good vaps. And then one last mouth to lung. It's a dot AIO because fuck dot mod, but it has the uh, A, what is on the inside? The new one from uh, Mission 15. A, 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 B2, KB2, the KB2, the KB2. <laughs> I think this is the KB2. It's in mouth to lung. Cheese your, gua cheese your guava jelly is also in this. Delicious delicious yeah smash that like button if you're here and you want to be my friend smash that like button let's get that let's explode that like button you guys punch your computer punch your computer now don't punch your computer but punch your computer okay so that's what i've been vaping and that's literally it there's nothing else the pop reel made it back here because as i said it's a pocket pod i just love the crap out of that thing and I guess if I had to pick a thing on my desk that's been getting the most use since Tuesday, uh, I constantly grab for this. Uh, I like holding it. It's just a, it's a hand feel thing. Sometimes if I'm on the interwebs using my mouse hand, uh, this will just be being held. Not, not necessarily getting used, but it's definitely getting held because it's got just such a great hand feel. Just such a good hand feel. Yeah. So that's uh that's my lineup. That's that's what I've been vaping, which means it's time to hear from you guys. Pow. America, uh, that's right. It's Assignment America time or as we call it over here on Grim Green's YouTube Assignment Planet Globe. This is where anybody in the world can send me their vape gear pictures and I will feature them on this freaking vlog. Yeah, it happens. It's, it's about to happen right now. You don't even know what's coming up. All right, Edward, Edward B. Edward B did not send an email. He sent an email with just a picture, no words. So Edward B. Boosh 9000, that's an Odin with a mysterious RTA on top that I don't know what that is. Next to that's a giant steam crave guy. I'm assuming it's dual 18650. I'm assuming it's regulated. I don't have any steam crave mods as of this vlog right now. I have none. So I couldn't, uh, I couldn't tell you what that is, but that's an OBS engine on top because I do have one of them. Noms X2, black. Look at that tobacco tobacco old edwards vaping a tobacco flavor we were just talking about tobaccos john m also sent in uh this number right here hell yeah john m john m says uh what's up grim joe monroe here a uh, long time viewer and supporter of what you do for the community. I'd just like to say thank you. Here are two of my favorite setups for Assignment Planet Globe. On the left is a 21700 BMM Rat. 
which looks sick, by the way, with a Narda on top. And yes, that is a chasing resin button from the man himself, uh, the one and only a uh, Foot Clan Dan. That's right, chasing resin Foot Clan Dan. And inside the bottle is uh, Sons of Sloth Butterscotch Cream Pie RY4. It's a phenomenal liquid. I'm not going to lie. That sounds amazing. I like that the label looks really DIY in this. That is a really DIY liquid. <laughs> that sounds delicious. And on the right is the BMM Borat with the Armor Mods AMBB RBA. Uh, and in the tank is a new to me liquid that you may have heard of. I maybe baked pistachio delight. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've vaped gallons of that already. Oh, that does sound familiar to me. Baked pistachio delight, which is definitely something that will stay in the rotation regularly. And I'm really enjoying it. One more time. Shout out to you and the channel and everything you continue to do for our community. Keep fighting the good fight. We're here to stand behind you, dude. John fucking a. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. That's some good looking vape gear you got there. Didn't I? This wasn't the Narda RDA, like a really super high end, difficult to get RDA. I think all of those things are the BMM and the Narda on top. That's like psh, bragging rights, you know? That's like street cred right there. Street cred. Uh, this one, I don't know if this one was sent in phrasing. Or if I stole this from uh, Discord, but I had to share this. Blue and blue and gold and gold is just busting. That is so sick. I don't know where you got an old Tim button, and I don't know how you got that goldy screen, but I want to know your secrets, phrasing. I need to know your secrets. The blue and the gold, sick. I don't know what mech that is, but the v Valkyrie on top, busting. RDA for vaping, busting. Gold, blue, gold. That's just straight up busting phrasing. Straight up. Straight up busting. What about this? What about Ronnie? What about Ronnie? Well, Ronnie writes in and says, uh, thanks for everything you do. Here's my DoorDash set. I finally stopped smoking after 50 years. Thanks to you and a couple other YouTube and Twitch users on Twitch as 20 over. Oh, I see you there. That's your Twitch username. Uh, the rest you may not want to post. Okay. I'll skip the nitty gritty details. Maybe I won't read it. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's. Uh, he's he's got to go fund me. Wait, wait, wait. He's the, the man. He's got to go fund me here. I'm I'm gonna share this go fund me. Of course, I would share this go fund me. How how could I not share this go fund me? Hang on. I, it's not gonna let me click the link. I will try to share this GoFundMe. It will just straight up not let me. It, Apple thinks that this is two different links sandwiched together. But I'm going to try to share your GoFundMe. Uh, he, he's had a little bit of a rough time, you know, and he's got a GoFundMe out there. And uh, he, he's actively looking for a job and he's got a resume. I'm, I'm posting your resume in the chat literally right now. Anybody take a look at this man's resume. If anybody's hiring, uh, uh, let them know I do have a horrible credit rating. Don't care. I don't care about that. I appreciate you, Ronnie. Thank you for sending in your, uh, your, your DoorDash setups here. And uh, I'll share your GoFundMe. I wish I could copy this link. I just cannot. Copy. Let's see. Let's see. Hang on. Hang on. Might be able to do this. I'm trying to copy it from a picture. Uh, and for some reason, why when you put in a web address, does it search for the web address rather than just going to the web address, Google? Why is that? Why is that? I would like to go to this address, please go. Thank you. Yes. Ha huh. help veteran Ronnie keep going with his life. Veteran Ronnie, well, it's going to share this for you. I'll put it in the description as well. We'll put it in the Twitch chat. We'll put it in the discord chat. We'll put it in the YouTube chat. Thank you for sharing Ronnie. You got a geek vapes. There's some, there's a fatality in there. There's some Vandy vape stuff in there. There's a Voopoo thing in there. 
I don't know what that one RDA is. And the, the gold one, I think, is a blaze just because it looks so much like the gold blaze that I've been using recently. Appreciate you, Ronnie. Appreciate you. Help that man out. That's his GoFundMe. If you want to toss him any money, take any super chats you were going to send to me, throw them to Ronnie. Throw them to Ronnie. Uh, one last. One last. Wait, we did. Oh, John M. Oh, John M. Okay, yeah, we saw John M's. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm slacking in my old age. Uh, we got one last assignment, uh, Planet Globe here from Sean. Sean of the Dead writes in and says, uh, quit vaping, uh, no smokes for about seven years. Uh, and then I just got the itch to come back in May. These are my first two return mods and I've been loving them. Thanks for all your advocacy. Hell yeah, Sean of the Dead. Back to vaping. He picked up a, 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 a stubby, an empire, a Sith, some baked, an ether. Shit, you're having some great vapes over there. Good vapes. The gunmetal and the blue on that empire, was, you know, I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty dope. I like the way that's looking over there. So, yeah, if you guys want to see them featured on this here vlog, send me over your setups. I want to see your bangers. I want to see those bangers. Whatever you're vaping, take a picture of it. Tell me what it is. Send it over. I want to see what keeps you off of combustible tobacco cigarettes. I want to see, see what keeps you off of the most lethal, deadly consumer product in the history of humanity. <laughs> in the history of humanity. It's, uh, it's kind of bananas. Um, let's do... Uh, hang on. Hang on. It's 517? Okay. This could, this could actually work out okay. I want to do... Kent's Shark Week, and then I want to do news. So let's... <laughs> you guys know my friend Kent. You know Kent. Twisted Messes. The legendary Twisted Messes. I'm going to post a link in the description and in the chat. Let's see. Uh, to his Instagram. Uh, I believe I'm following him. Yeah, it's Kent is cooking. Where the hell is it? Where the hell did he go? No. Kent. Oh my God in heaven. Why is the web interface of Instagram the worst thing that's ever been created? Does it straight up can't find you, Kent. Straight up cannot find you. I'm on my Grim Green Instagram account. I'm following you and I cannot find your Instagram. Oh, because it's Kent. Let's just search for Kent. Yeah. All I did was type in Kent and it found it. But when I tried to type in the full name, Kent's cooking doesn't show up. Thanks, Instagram, for being a terrible platform. That's his Instagram. And what Kent has been doing is AI art. And I didn't, I didn't understand AI art until I experienced Kent building with AI art. It's not that you just tell an artificial intelligence, I want this exact picture, and it spits out the perfect exact picture. It takes like prompts and different words and different codes. It looks a bit like CSS sometimes. There's like a shit ton of actual like memory and skill involved in actually getting the artificial intelligence to do anything interesting for you. So it takes a, a shocking amount of like work and know-how and dare I say a little bit of artistic ability involved in there. And so Kent said this is Shark Week. So we have a ton of pictures of, from Kent of Shark Week. And what Kent likes to do is he basically takes the squad or what once was the squad, just I guess the dude members of the squad, myself, Dwayne, Beecher, himself, Turk, and Eric. And we're always his subject matter. We're always his subject matter. And so he creates these batches of pictures with his friends 
This week was Shark Week, so let's just start in with this picture of Turk possibly being attacked by a shark, <laughs> possibly eating a little, uh, what is that? Entrails, tripe, not really sure, and a little dish of uh, ice cream, maybe. But that's Turk with some sort of cloak, maybe that's pants on his head, and a giant terrifying shark behind him. Giant terrifying shark. I don't want to see a video of a guy getting eaten by a shark. I just want to see Kent turning us into shark people. <laughs> Why are Beecher's the best? Beecher's always looked the best. That's Beecher uh, posing with a super stoked shark. <laughs> Why is Beecher's always the best? I wish Beecher was here. Oh, is that Chum? Is that Chum? Is that what I was looking at there? Okay, Chum. There we go. That makes sense. Chum. Could be Al Gore. <laughs> chum okay and then we got beecher looking great uh don't worry there's plenty i think that's me with a derpy shark on my head like on my back i'm laughing wearing overalls not sure what the novelty oversized uh, wrist unit is there not sure what the woman touching my chest is doing either but it's just from kent's brain that's fine uh there's another one that's turk Maybe getting eaten. Turk may actually be getting eaten in this picture. He seems upset about it. He's wearing overalls. And is that ch more chum there? Is that chum? That's just chum? Chuck, chucking some chum? Clucking some chum? Clucking chum? Yeah, the Beecher was a photobomb. This looks like he is actually getting consumed. That's great. It's just weird when your friend sends you pictures of you getting consumed by sharks. It's like, what, how do you tell me how you really feel, Kent? Beecher again, looking great with a big shark behind him. It almost looks like the shark's alive and could like be his friend. <laughs> Kent's brains, you know, it's it, it, Kent's brain just comes up with this stuff. There's me again, laughing, I guess. Wearing a big watch again. Am I cut? I maybe I'm cutting the chum up. Maybe I'm cutting the chum up to feed to uh, to Turk and his sharks. I got another shark, maybe attacking my head. Not really sure. Wait, there's more. There I am. There's me with Mr. Super Knuckles right there, <laughs> and they're reaching inside of my shark stomach. They're reaching inside of my shark stomach. Not really sure. Oh, yeah, fisherman overalls. That makes sense. We're all dealing with sharks. Yeah, the fisherman overalls. Okay, that, 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 that does make sense. That makes a lot more sense. Not really sure. Then, Beecher again. <laughs> Why are Beechers the best? Why are Beechers the best? Sitting with a plate full of chum. It looks like there could be some oysters there on the table as well. He's out dining. With a big derpy shark attaching attacking his head. He doesn't even care. He's just like, look at me. I'm Beecher. I don't care. I don't even care. Beecher again. Doing something with a lady friend there. Not really sure. And then there, that that's definitely like a plastic uh shark velociraptor model in the background. This one doesn't make much sense to me. I don't know what's going on. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, Kent's prompts AI's brain, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Kent's prompts Beecher again with uh, his tattooed child and another shark behind his head. You know, find, Finding Nemo's great. Yeah, Bruce. That was definitely a Bruce. Was that a Bruce? No, this was the Bruce. Okay, wait, where did I leave off? This one? Where did we see? Yeah, we saw Kent and his tattooed child eating. But wait, there's more. This one, I'm holding extra hands, and then there's a shark, and that shark is terrifying behind me because do you see like a second row of teeth like three feet into that shark's mouth? That's terrifying. That is terrifying. <laughs> That's terrifying. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> it always looks like Beecher's friends with the shark. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who this is. That could be Eric. 
with an actual shark head eating the chum. And the only reason I say Eric is because, I don't know, those tan tattooed arms, like the, the, the beard on the bottom. I don't know. That could be Eric. That's Kent for sure riding a shark. I'm going to say he's riding a shark in this. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know why, where Kent went on this uh, shark shark week. Kent's AI reminds me what it's like to trip. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at this. This is trippy as hell. No, no hallucinogens needed. Here's another one here. I think that's Dwayne just washing his hands with a shark. I th- I'm pretty sure that's Dwayne, although it doesn't look like Dwayne. The muscles look like Dwayne enough that I would say that that's Dwayne maybe washing his hands with a plastic shark. That shark looks plastic to me. That shark doesn't look like a real pla- a real shark. Try harder, AI. Try harder. Okay, let's do a few more. Can't... <laughs> Nope, no idea. No no idea what's going on there. Kent's possibly proposing to a shark. Is he proposing to a shark? Is he just posing in a museum with a plastic shark? Some of the sharks look plastic. I'm not going to lie. Get your act together, AI. That's fucking hilarious. Then, oh, see, now he's just chilling with a shark. Yeah, that looks like a real shark. That looks like Kent... Trying to be friends with a shark. <laughs> and the shark's clearly going to eat his head. His shark's clearly going to eat his head. All right, let's do, let's do a couple more here. Eric, yeah. Eric writing something down really important. Every time I see Eric, it gives me strong Sifu mustache vibes. For anyone in the yo Patreon, this is a spitting image of Sifu's mustache. Two spitting image. Phrasing. <laughs> Here's the best part, phrasing. Here's the best part. Phrasing says, there are two theories of Kent that I have based on his art. One, he does too many drugs. And B, he needs some more drugs. Yeah. Here's the thing. Kent's straight edge, as straight edge as they come. The man doesn't drink. The man doesn't, doesn't do any drugs, recreational, nothing. He does caffeine and nicotine, and that's it. That's it. So believe it or not, this is coming from essentially a sober brain. Well, look, let's do one more. Eric, look at that, wholesomely hanging out with his shark, wearing a watch on his forearm. Got that sick fade. Look how perfect Eric's hair looks in this. And then the mad little shark. Okay, and then the last one. Uh, yeah, that's just. I think it's. <laughs> I think that's Dwayne. <laughs> I think that's Dwayne. I think that's Dwayne. I think we're looking at Dwayne. I think we're looking at Dwayne right now. Kent, uh, thank you. Thank you for all of that nonsense to send over. I love looking at him. I hope you guys like seeing him because I'll share them every time he sends them over. Uh, This week was Shark Week. If anybody, maybe Kent watches the replay. If anybody has any suggestions for Kent, just throw them in the chat right now. Just tell them what you'd like to see us interacting with or being a part of you never know you never know it's ai art and it doesn't need to make sense it's just weird (laughs) it's just straight up weird kent's that's kent shark's (laughs) father-in-law but i'm pretty sure that's Dwayne. this one i think if i had to pick a favorite it's kent this one. Nope. Sorry, Eric. You're not my favorite. Nope. This one. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's so funny. It looks like Kent's even smiling and his laugh and everything. And he's just cracking jokes with a shark. You ever just crack jokes with a shark? I've cracked, I've cracked jokes with a shark before. You don't even know. Um. Okay, wait. What time did... He want me to do vape mail. I'm trying to do between 5 p.m. and 6. All right, here's the thing. It's 5.30, Tribal Buddha. I was going to do news right now, but 
I'm trying to be uh, accommodating to tribal Buddha. He's on his swing shift at work. I have mail from him. So I think the only option that we have to do right now is to change the whole flow of the vlog just for just for tribal Buddha. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, I have a little bit of mail. Let's get into some mail. Let's mess around with some mail. Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? You guys doing good? All right. It's exactly 5.30, so I'm going to open what very little mail that I have. I don't have a ton of mail today, guys. It's literally like two things. I say two things because it's two things, and then it's one clearly Chinese Vupu package. But we're going to first start with uh, Tribal Buddha. Because that's just the way it worked out today, Tribal Buddha. Oh, does that mean we're not going to see you in the hangs, champ? Hand, handcrafted Grim Army logo. It's indistinguishable from the real thing. Indistinguishable. Indistinguishable. Uh, hey, Nick. Uh, here are the dorky drip tips and a Mutation XV4 for a retro vape. Steve, AKA Tribal Buddha. Uh, Steve, Tribal Buddha, hell yes, thank you, hell yes. Indulgence Mutation X V4. If I remember correctly, oh, and it's white. Oh, that's sick, bro. Okay, we're gonna definitely do this for a retro vape soon. Look at this, Mutation X V4. I don't know that I ever actually used a Mutation X V4 before. It looks wicked familiar. Four post deck on the inside. What are the holes on the bottom? What are the holes on the bottom? Oh, there's bottom airflow. Oh God, there's bottom and side airflow. Side airflow and bottom airflow. Does that seem like way too much airflow to anybody else but me? <laughs> wow, all right. Uh, we'll put this back away. Appreciate that, Tribal Buddha. That's cool as hell. Mutation XV4 for a retro vape. And then this is severe dork level. This is, this is severe dork level of drip tips. Holy crap. Pow. Would you look at that? Pow. Would you look at that? Where do these come from, Tribal Buddha? Tribal Buddha has like a dorky drip tip plug where he gets all the cool, tall, dorky drip tips. Some of these are even excessive, you know? Some of these are even excessive. Although that one's cool. That one could go on here. And it's, I like it because it's, boom, angled at the top. It's got like that, like, you know, smokestack sort of look to it. Let's give it a try. I love it. It makes the flavor better. It is, Frank, it is a Kennedy on steroids. It's like a amped up Kennedy. Let's give this one a try. Let's see uh, better flavor this time. I want to put one of the, oh no, I can't, damn it. It's got an integrated drip tip. I thought, oh, I want to put one of those on the dot. Can't, damn it. Oh well, fucked up mod anyway. Hell yeah, drip tips. Drip tips all day. Dorky drip tips for days, Tribal Buddha. Thank you. Thank you. These will, these, I'm going to use these into the ground. You have no idea. No idea. And we got a retro vape. Hey, maybe we got a new retro vape for next week. And I'm keeping this. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. Should I, get, should I get the tribal Buddha version of the Grim Army tattooed on me? Like on my other thigh? There's Grim Army. It's just with the jagged lines and everything. I think that would be cool. Okay. Now... See, I told you, there's not, there's not much vape mail today. 
That's okay, because we run long anyway. We run long all the time. This one looks like it has come from uh, Canada, possibly, or the United Kingdom. There's a picture on the Queen. There's a picture of the Queen on the postage, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it came from, from, from the UK, right? Don't Canadians celebrate the Queen a little bit, or am I way off? Am I way wrong there? What's up, Tyler? You're not late. You're right on time, man. Oh, shit. Wait, where did these come from? There's so many stickers, I can't see who it came from. Who sent this? I want answers. Because these look like panels for a billet box? <clears throat> I mean, billet box? Does this look like uh, panels for a billet box? What is this panels for? I can't, I don't know what device these panels are for, but these are sick panels. Who, who sent this? Who is this? Who sent me pictures of the queen and sent me Star Wars? Did this come from uh, Seamus? We don't stamp the mail with the queen. No, that's like royal mail. Okay, so it's not Canadian. I need to know. I need to know who sent me these panels and what they're for. They look too wide for a billet box. I'm just going to say that. They look too wide for a billet box, but maybe not. Yes, they're not billet box sized. They could be Cthulhu sized. They could be Delro sized. They could be something sized. These are pulse panels. These are pulse. Rocco, oh, Georgia boy and Rocco. All right, pulse. I, my first thought was Cthulhu as well, but these are pulse panels. Are you telling me these are pulse V1 panels? Ooh, I'm gonna have to dig out my pulse V1. I'm gonna have to dig out my pulse AIO. Pulse AIO panels? Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I'm gonna have to dig out my Pulse AIO. I'm gonna have to dig, dig out my Pulse AIO to, because I have to use the sickest Star Wars Stormtrooper panels. Those are just dope. White, textury. Those are just dope. No way around it. How are these made? Is that printed? It looks like it's printed as part of it. These are 3D printed, correct? Because the Star Wars logo looks like it's inset. Like the yellow is looks like a different filament color. Mm, anyway, I like them. Thank you to whomever. I don't know who these came from. Ugh. It's got it's got to be somewhere in my DMs. It's got to be somewhere in my DMs where these came from. All right, sick. Sick. This so far, this is a good. This is a good vape mail. So far, this is a good vape mail. Last package. That's it. Three packages. We got panels. We got tips. We got a retro vape, and we got something from Voopoo. V o o p o o. And it is Oh, I'm gonna open the blue one. Holy shit. Uh this is a new drag H forty. Uh which is weird. <laughs> You don't generally see them going down in wattage. You generally see them going up in wattage, right? Okay, so it's internal battery. Just tell me that this uses PNP coil heads and I'll give it 10 banana stickers. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't, that's crazy. I wouldn't do that. But I do believe this uses PNP coil heads, which makes me super happy. Drop in just a tube, just a little draggy blue tube. 
little draggy blue tube. It's perfectly cylindrical. It's really nice in the hand. Generally, the drag stuff, the Vupu drag stuff is, you know, like oblong shaped, oblong shaped. This perfectly round hand feel for days. It's going to be a thummy. I'm going to be a thummy. If this has a decent battery life, 1500 ma, 1500 ma or milliamp hour battery life. Dang, that's kind of busting. That's kind of busting. All right. I'm not going to set this up right now because, you know, I have to set it up on video. I have to, I have to start the review for it as I do. Sick. Sick Vupu Drag H40. And I got a PNP pod too. A replacement uh, pod, PNP pod for the Drag H40, which means it uses PNP coil heads, which means... Chances are I'm probably going to enjoy that stupid thing. Put the PNP coil heads in a in a dog turd with a battery, and if it vapes, I'll be like, hey, this is a good vape. PNP coil heads. PNP coil heads all day. Yeah, I generally, I try to open up the, what I think is going to be the least most least desired color because the other one's going to get given away. It's going to end up in the hands of some someone in the yo-yo and I'm going to save the cool matte black one for that person. Accidental out of focus barcodes. I'm going to save the cool matte black one for that person. For the future recipient of that Vupu Drag H40. Uh, yeah, that's it. Retro. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's mail. That's mail, tribal Buddha. I hope you were here. I hope you watched it. It's 542. I feel like you should be getting back to work soon. Time to clock back in, get back to work, tribal Buddha. Time to get back to work with the PNP J bits. J bits asks a pretty good question here. My general rule with the PNP coil heads is all the lower resistance stuff rules. All the higher resistance stuff, uh, it's like a 0.3 coil is my cutoff for the PNPs. I'll use a 0.3, but it's not my favorite. I much prefer the 0.2s, and I much prefer the lower resistance, like the 0.15s, above anything above a 0.3. Like the 0.3, uh, it's fine. When you start getting up into like 0 0.6, 0 0.8 territory, that's where I cut off. That's where I go. I don't care for the PNP coil heads in high resistance. I really like the PNP coil heads in low resistance. Low resistance. All right. Back to work, Tribal Buddha. All right. Soon. I hope you've enjoyed your lunch break. I hope I could bring some uh, happiness to your lunch break, sir. That would be that would be busting. That's it. All right. Let's get to uh, look. Look. We all knew this was coming, okay? We all knew it was coming. Let's just do it. I'll check in on the Super Chats first. Where did I end up? Lo-fi for llamas. Lo-fi for freaking llamas says, thanks for recommending Guava Jelly and Psycho Cruller. Really enjoying them in my Asgard Mini on my Matterhorn. What's everyone vaping this evening? Let Lo-fi for llamas know... But yeah, dude, llama, guava jelly, it's, it's perfect. It's a perfect juice. The first moment that I tasted guava jelly, I, I knew, like, I just knew that it was going to be a legacy liquid and I've been vaping it for three years now, just, and I plan on not stopping ever. Guava jelly, as long as Grim Green exists, guava jelly, will, I will be vaping it, assuming that guava jelly still exists, but I will force Guava jelly to exist. <laughs> I will per uh, I will plan uh, an elaborate heist with a team of people. Are you in lo-fi? You in? I need a team so that we can break into the deep cuts factory and steal the guava jelly recipe. I didn't think I was going to be planning a heist tonight. Just kind of fell together. We need that guava jelly. Appreciate you lo-fi. Bearded Vape God says, uh, thank you. I'm a vape reviewer uh, and the vaping community is so friendly. You made me cry a little. You're an awesome dude. Oh, 
I thank you, man. I try to be an I, I try to be an awesome dude, and I don't, I'm not trying to make you cry, but listen, bro. We get in our feels here. We've had some patrons. I've had friends pass away on this. I've had friends who are in really low places and we try to help each other out. And that's why I tell people I love them. I'll look you dead in the eye and be like, hey, bearded vape God, I love you, bro. People don't hear that enough. And I got a lot of love for people. And so I like to tell people, hey, love you, man. And I like it when other people tell each other that. And that's just this weird little thing we've created of like grown ass fucking 46 year old men all hanging around talking about Marvel movies and death metal and wrestling. And then we're like, hey, I love you, by the way. Hey, did you check out that new fucking porncore album? Yeah, hey, I love you, by the way. It's, it's important, Bearded Vape God. We gotta look out for each other. We gotta look out for each other. Bearded Vape God also says stay hydrated. So I'm gonna take that as a cue to plug my sponsor of this vlog. It's the coldest water bottle. They make some pretty okay water bottles. And if you want a pretty okay water bottle for yourself to drink gallons of water out of, then click that link in the description. Use the code GRIM at checkout. Get you a little, get you a little discount. On, on your coldest water bottle, puts a little jingle in my pocket, helps support this channel. Uh, it's also an excellent palette for stickers. So let's hydrate. Um, we, haven't hang, we haven't hydrated with Adam, I feel like in a really long time. So let's just hit up Adam. Clucking the childs. Oh no. Oh no. A the Adam file has been corrupted. Oh no, the atom file has been corrupted. All right, well, hang on. I have a backup account. I have a backup. You didn't think I did, but I do. So let's try this one that's only seven seconds long. Cheers. Ah. Okay, let's watch it again. Go. Cheers. <sighs> Cheers. All right. I need some more hydro homie clips. If anybody wants to send me a video of themselves just chugging water, I need some hydro homies clips. Stay hydrated. It's okay to be it's okay to be literally anything. Literally anything. Welcome to America. You can be that. It's not okay to be dehydrated. It's not okay, and I'm not okay with it. So everybody stay hydrated. Mother Truck and Bradley live streams. Hey, Grim. Hanging out in the pool, drinking a beer with you. Bruh. Cha. Uh, what is one of your top tobacco liquids that are available in the U.S.? Also sent you a busting five minute vid. Want to be sure you got it? Uh, I'm assuming that I did, Bradley Livestreams. I'm assuming that I did. I have no reason to believe I didn't receive it. I may not have seen it yet. I'm sure it exists. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know uh, if it does or doesn't show up. Thank you for sending that in. Top tobacco liquids that are available in the US. Uh, Deep Cuts has good tobacco. Uh, uh, Sifu Mustache, although I don't think he's really selling so much anymore. He has a Baby Come Back, which is a really good tobacco. Uh, as far as available in the U.S., that's tough. It's like, what's available in the U.S.? <laughs> what's available in the U.S. anymore? Um, my, I'll, I'll say that my favorite tobacco comes from um, the Panther series. The Panther series black the black tobacco from the panther series from mr good vape or dr dr vapes dr vapes dr vapes makes yeah dr vapes i think makes the uh the uh black panther tobacco that rules i just love the crap out of it um there was I can't remember any tobacco flavors right now off the top of my head. If I think of them throughout the stream, I'll throw them out there. But right now on the spot, I literally cannot think of any tobacco flavored liquids that I really like. Black Note has has some pretty okay tobacco flavors as well. Um, Uncommon, you know, I'm just going to throw that out there. 
uncommon it will be available in the US and uh, there's a tobacco in there that's, uh, you know, dare I say busting, but it is pretty busting, Bradley. I'll keep an eye out for that five minute video, dude. Hope you're doing good. Gate Gunner, me and the boys are wondering where we go to send you our vape setups and you made our days. I, I'm happy to make your days. Uh, that's my pleasure. You made my days by being here tonight. So let me tell you this. Just email them over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, Assignment Planet Globe. Chances are I'll see the attachment. Chances are it'll get filed and used accordingly. I have a, a, an excessive back catalog of, of Assignment Planet Globes, but I always want more. I literally always want more. Literally always want more. So send them on over, dude. Send it over. Frank Neal, that's very gracious of you. Yo, yo, Nick, cool cuds and everyone in the chat. Hope everyone is having a great Thursday. Hashtag cool kid forever. Hell yeah, Frank, Neil. That's what I want to hear. Hashtag cool kid forever. Listen, I'm having a great night. I can't speak for everybody in the chat, but it seems like they're having a pretty good time. Sam's Plum Tobacco. Let's say that. Yeah, let's let's do that. Is that uh, available in the US? Vicky Benji? Sam Rebel Bogan's Plum Job. I don't know why I just decided to wear this hat today. It was a comfy fitting hat. And I thought, yeah, I'll support my bro. I'll support my bro Bogan. Yeah, the plum job, great. Really good. Turkish. Yeah, Turkish tobacco from MTurk. Really hyper good. Really very hyper good. It's good. I'm glad you guys are thinking of my favorite tobaccos for me because I can't remember them. <laughs> you need a good tobacco that tastes like cigars? Cubano. It ends and begins and ends with V God's Cubano. If you want a cigar flavor, Cubano. V God Cubano is an amazing tobacco flavor and it really, really hits me like a cigar. Really, very hits me like a cigar, Dastardly Deeds. I hope you can track some of that down because it is I'm not even going to say it. Busting. That's right. And then we got one last super chat from Slater. Hey, hey, love you. Hey, love you. Love the chat too. Uh, like this stream or step on a Lego. Oh, okay. Hashtag like this stream or step on a Lego. Hashtag save me from my dog. Hashtag replay crew today. Oh, Slater's on replay crew today. Then how'd you do the super chat, Slater? How'd you do the super chat then, Slater? <laughs> Just kidding, man. Hey, love you, Slater. Hope you're doing well. Now that that is a thing, now is the part that we all knew was coming. Oh, I feel truth butter forming. I feel truth butter and rage sweat forming on my face already. Was that too loud? Feels like that might have been uh, just, just a little bit too loud. So, oh my God, you guys, where are we even going to start? Let's start with this. Let's start with the most friggin' weird thing I've ever read ever. Beaumont, Texas. Okay. I, I like Texas and I like Texans. I don't want to want anybody to think I'm uh, anti-Texan. I'm from pro Texan. I like Texas. I like Texans. I have many patrons in Texas. I've been to Texas. It's whatever. I like Texas. Texas has done some odd things recently in that their school system seems to be changing pretty dramatically they were talking about recently that they're turning uh, some libraries in some certain schools into like, uh, you know, like a prison type of thing where they go to be punished in confinement at school. When they get punished, they can go to like this special tiny little kids prison inside of a school. So that's neat. Now, new laws changing the way school districts handle students caught with vapes fox four out of beaumont reporting that uh beaumont school district is making a change in the disciplinary actions for students caught with e-cigarettes and thc and marijuana so a they're lumping together nicotine vaping with cannabis use those two are on the same level and deserve the same punishment. Sure. It's both of them are illegal for youths. Both of them are sure. Maybe they should carry the same punishment. 
This comes after House Bill 114 was passed in June. The bill looks to cut down on e-cigarette use in schools through the use of alternative school campuses. Cut down on e-cigarette use in schools through the use of alternative school campuses. In the past, those e-cigarettes were a discretionary placement, says Dr. Randall Maxwell, Senior Director of Student Support. Now, if a student is caught with an e-cigarette, it is a mandatory placement in the district's alternative education center. This law is trying to scare kids into not vaping by telling them if you get caught with a vape or cannabis or THC or it doesn't say cigarettes on there, but I'm assuming cigarettes would also be included in this. If you get caught with these items, you get shipped to a different school. You get shipped to an alternative education center, a mandatory alternative education center. Wow. Whoa. Seems a little over the top for kids. Threatening kids that you're going to send them away to a different school for vaping. Beaumont, Texas. I, as far as I know, this is the only school district in the Republic that is threatening children who vape that they will be placed at mandatory placement at an alternative education center. What does that mean? It's a special school for bad kids. Exactly. It's jail. It's special school for bad kids. We're getting youths used to being in prison. We're getting youths used to being in trouble, being detained, being put in solitary confinement. Imagine there's a kid and he smokes cigarettes and he one day quit smoking cigarettes with a vape and then he gets caught with a vape and then gets sent to an alternative education center in Texas. And I'm assuming when something happens that young in your life that it might be one of those things where it's difficult to recover from. When you get to high school, do they look at your and they look at your phone and go, oh, you spent time in an alternative education center trying to apply for college? Well, oh, you, you spent time as a youth in an alternative education center? I'm sorry, you're not Stanford material. Seems weird. Seems weird and I don't like it. Alternative education center. What does that mean? I had three friends that got expelled for cigarettes. That's normal. <laughs> Expulsions are normal. <laughs> Alternative education centers sounds like weird 1984 shit. You're going to be reprogrammed in an alternative education center. That just seems weird and dystopian to me. That just seems weird and dystopian to me. And how do you explain that to the parent? How do you say, well, we, we caught your kid with a vape, so we're sending him to another school. It's an alternative education center. He's going to hate it. It's going to feel like prison. Hope you're okay with this. Okay, bye. Bonkers, bonkers. I have to say that that right there is mother trucking bonkers. Uh, what else do I have going on tonight? There's a, let's split a little film strip. How about that? How about a little film strip tonight? Pow, there it is. Uh, this account, Considerate Pouchers. Let's follow them. They are snooze users. It's snooze people. They are snooze advocates. And this is uh, talking to Charlie Weimers, uh, an MEP uh -oh. from Sweden. Uh, damn it. Clicked on it. And uh, they're just talking about uh, beat smoking like Sweden. You know, this is something that I'm going to hammer into the ground. And that is. Sweden. Yeah, right. Right, Rifleman. Right. First step towards creating an outlaw. First step towards creating an outlaw. It's uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Alternative education centers, alternative education centers, 
Sorry, that's dystopian as fuck. That's like big brother, you know, war is peace, love is hate type of situation going on there. They're going to reprogram their brains. Let's watch this video. Uh, Sweden, the country of Sweden is about to become a smoke-free country. The entire country smoke-free. The metric set by the World Health Organization for a smoke-free country is under 5% of the population smoking combustible cigarettes. Under 5%. 5% or less of the population of the country not smoking tobacco, combustible tobacco cigarettes. The U.S., decades away from that. Canada, decades away from that. The rest of Europe, decades away from that. Australia, maybe maybe many decades away from that. Sweden, it's about to happen this year. It's about to happen this year. Let's see, let's see what this person has to say. This is a great video. So I wanted to ask you, what is it that the Swedes are doing that are working so well that they're about to come smoke-free? Well, Sweden has a range of um, smoke-free alternatives. We have vaping, we have snus, we have nicotine pouches. So people are, you know, given a freedom of choice. And um, it is a fact that people around the world, they, they, they like nicotine products. Either we can accept that, be pragmatic, and uh, look to uh, reduce harm as much as possible. Um, or we could just ban everything and hope for the best. Sweden is um, reducing harm and it's working very good. I mean, we're about to be uh, defined by the WHO as a smoke-free country soon. That is, that is without precedent. It's, it's fantastic. So I wanted to ask you. Without precedent, Sweden is gonna be the first country in our known human history on earth to be a completely smoke-free country. They're doing it with snus. They're doing it with vapes. They're doing it with less harmful alternatives. And as he said, people around the world want to consume nicotine. And so it's up to us to make sure they use the least harmful products possible. What, what's getting lost in the discussion here? What's getting lost in the discussion? Why is Sweden and the UK and you know Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, the list goes on. Why are these countries in favor of harm reduction and showing, hey, look, we're about to become smoke free. Sweden has the lowest lung cancer rates in the world, much less the whole of the European Union. How does, how does that exist? And then in the United States and, and Canada and Australia, the World Health Organization says harm reduction, it's just a trap. It's just a trick. Sweden's been tricked. Sweden's been tricked into being smoke free. It's just a trick. The only real way to quit is to quit everything. You quit all nicotine. It's not good enough that you're stopping, you know, all of the damage to your body, literally every organ caused by smoking. That's not good enough anymore. We now have this puritanical, no nicotine use is the only acceptable nicotine use. It's infuriating. It's, I don't even know what else to say. I've been, ram you know, I've been rambling about this for 10 years now. It's infuriating. It is crazy infuriating. And there are some really, really bad takes out there, really bad takes. But hang on, we're going to get to a really good take. We're going to get to my mind blower right after I read a little bit of this mother trucker. Let's talk about Australia while we're on the subject. It's a trap. It's a trap. Tedros got on Twitter and was like, oh, uh, you may have heard about something called tobacco harm reduction. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's a lie. It's a trap. It just continues nicotine addiction and the harms from nicotine addiction. And it's a trap. Someone better tell Sweden. Someone better tell Sweden. Someone better tell the UK too. Someone better tell the UK and Sweden and Japan and, and South Korea and, and, and New Zealand Someone better tell all these countries where the smoking rate's dropping like a rock that they've just fallen into a trap. It's a trap. 
It's a trap that your smoking rates are dropping. It's a trap. It's just a trick. It's a trick by Big Tobacco just to keep, keep, keep making money and keep you addicted. Not dying. Not dying. But dependent. Those sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. Straya. Let's talk about Straya a little bit before we get to my mind blowers. Colin Mendelson. How do you not love uh, doctor? This is a medical doctor. Colin Mendelson. He's been working in tobacco control like literally his whole life. Um, 45 leading tobacco, uh, 45 leading tobacco treatment, public health and addiction experts from Australia and New Zealand are urging lawmakers to listen to the Australian National Advisory Council on Alcohol and Other Drugs and a CAD ahead of the health minister's Mark Butler's proposed vaping crackdown. There is a large letter that was sent, that was sent by public health and addiction experts urging Mark Butler in New Zealand, in Australia, to just listen to the National Australian Advisory Council on Alcohol and Other Drugs. Because they're saying that Mark Butler's plan isn't going to work. They're saying Mark Butler's going to plan is going to cause more problems than it solves. And all that these people are trying to do is go, hey, if you don't want to listen to us, listen to your advisory council. Holy shit, bro. Listen to them. It is the advisory council's view that further bans will make the black market worse. Doesn't take a rocket surgeon to figure out that bans create a black market and that more bans would make a black market worse. Further restrictions will likely only make the problem worth worse and will end up criminalizing more people. Yeah. You wake up, uh, you, you go to sleep as a smoker, you, you wake up as a vapor, suddenly you're a criminal. <laughs> Isn't that crazy how that works? Or you could just go to the store and buy cigarettes and smoke like a good Australian. Like, clearly they want you to. Don't try to quit, okay? If you're in Australia, just stop trying to quit. They clearly, clearly don't want you trying to quit smoking cigarettes. Sensible ballast regulation is the only way forward. Sensibly ballast, balancing reduction of access and uptake among children and young people with increasing access to adults who want to stop smoking. Regulation that is too severe risks making smoking more attractive. Correct again, Colin Mendelson. Correct again. Australia could most likely join the ranks of such prestigious states in the U.S. as uh, let's see, Massachusetts, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Washington, uh, California, New Jersey, uh, what was the one in the middle, Montana, all of these states, it's less expensive to smoke cigarettes than it is to try to quit with a vape. It's more fiscally responsible. You'd save money by buying cigarettes instead of a vape. They've made vaping more expensive and less attractive than cigarettes in these states. And I think that's what they're trying to do in Australia. They just want smoking to look like the best option possible. For a nicotine consumer, if I'm trying to save money and I don't care about my health, boom, cigarettes. That's the default. They're available everywhere. That's the default. Policy should be driven by evidence. I don't need to tell you, Michael Redfern. Welcome back. Policy should be driven by evidence. We should encourage the TGA to ensure an evidence-based policy. We want to avoid making a policy driven by unsubstantiated anecdotal evidence or selective interpretations of the data. Who does that? Who else does that besides Australia? USA. USA. American heart. American lung. They both do it. American Heart Association has done so many pro-vaping studies, it's ridiculous. But by the time those studies get to public consumption, the messaging and the wording has been changed to make it appear as though vaping is a threat. But if you read the study, turns out it's not. Turns out there's huge health benefits for people who smoke cigarettes if they switch to vaping. <laughs> Cardiovascular events are no different between a full-time vapor and a full-time non-user of anything. But these are the parts that American Heart Association kind of keeps to themselves. And then they shout 
They shout all the wrong things. They shout all the weird interpolations that they get from their own data. Cherry picking, interpretations of data. Border control won't work. Border control efforts uh, with other illicit drugs is hugely costly with typically very little impact on the black market and virtually no impact on use. Yeah, the drug war, you know, the drug war. Look, Nixon started it in the 70s, and it's been a smashing success for the last few decades. Uh, it's kept everybody safe, you know? It, it's kept drugs off the streets. It, uh, it's kept everybody safe. Um, it's, uh, it's, it hasn't hurt anybody. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. The drug war has just been a... A, a catastrophic nightmare from day one, and that's fine. And we all know it, like we all realize that the drug war is terrible, and then they go, hmm, but maybe it would work with vaping. I know the drug war has been unsuccessful in keeping any drugs out of our countries and anybody from using drugs for the last 40 years, but if we apply that same drug war tactic to vaping, Ha, huh. ding, just might work, just might work. Or if you're just a delusional prohibitionist that assumes that when you prohibit something, people will just lose all interest in it. Yeah, because that's exactly how this works. All flavors should not be banned. There's evidence that flavors that appeal to smokers encourage uptake of vaping instead of smoking among adults. Again, banning anything tends to increase the black market and possibly even experiments with the home mixing of flavors. This is something they, uh, you know, shouldn't be encouraged, although it should be encouraged. DIYing is super crazy easy. But for the sake of the argument of this paper, people should be, especially in Australia, getting their vapes from, you know, reputable sources, not this uh, shady TikTok black market back alley type of vaping. I don't need face meats, cheese your guava jelly. I need cheese your guava jelly from a reputable vendor. Again, the gateway theory, this is the last one, the gateway theory of drug and alcohol use is flawed. There's no evidence that vaping results in young people who are not at risk of smoking tobacco to take up smoking. Literally none. Literally none. The gateway myth just, just explodes in a little puff of air the second that it's put up to any sort of scrutiny, any sort of like critical thinking about it, it just completely disappears because it makes sense when you first hear it. 50 years? You're telling me the drug war has been winning the war on drugs for 50 years? Damn. 50 years of a super successful drug war. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. We have almost no drug deaths in America now because of the really, 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 really successful war on drugs. Come on. War on drugs has always been a war on people. We know that. We know that. The gateway theory makes sense. Okay, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this. You can read the full paper or you can just read these bullet points. You can follow Colin Mendelson on Twitter. I would highly, highly recommend following Colin Mendelson on Twitter. He's just a hell of a guy. And uh, him and Alex Wodak over there in Australia, they really do. They really do give a shit. They really do give a shit about vaping. So here's the end. We're gonna, here's the end of the news and advocacy. Grimm's Mind Blowers. Cheers. Whoa. I wish I had another Duchess. I would drink it literally right now. I would drink a six pack of Duchess right now. Okay. Grimm's Mind Blowers. Grimm's Mind Blowers. This is, I don't know who this person is. I don't know who this person is. I just have this screenshots on my computer from, I believe, 2020. I think this was from Facebook in 2020. Uh, if anybody knows this person, uh, goes by John Nathan. John Nathan, if there's a John Nathan in the chat tonight, I, I'd love to shake your hand. 
I'd love to shake your hand because this is, this was a mind-blowingly good take about vaping. Mind-blowingly good take. It's not often that I run across really excellent takes, really excellent hot takes about vaping. This is one of them. It blew my mind hole open. Blew my mind hole open. So let's read what Jonathan Nathan posted on uh, Facebook in early 2020. This is something that Danielle Jones and I tried to talk about on a TBN episode in 2020. And all we did was get hate. All we did was get hate. All John Nathan got was hate. He's right. We were right. This is a good take. He says, I'm floored at some of the messages I've gotten about reaching out to Elizabeth Warren. It seems a large portion of my industry fails to realize that the most effective solution for survival is a bipartisan one. Have we heard this before? Have we heard this before? We've definitely heard this before from me. I think I've said this at least a trillion times on live streams, and that is the assault against vaping is wholly bipartisan. So the defense of vaping also needs to be wholly bipartisan. Facts. John goes on to say, we will be regulated. This is without a doubt happening. We can either sit back and wait for them to decide or take a proactive approach and, and propose our own laws as the alcohol, tobacco, sex, gambling, and cannabis industries do. The libertarian pipe dream of don't tread on my coils is not happening. That was a wake up call for me. In order to achieve bipartisan support, we need to package our dilemma for all three sides. Daniel Jones and I dedicated a whole TBN to this. That's why it's hitting so hard with me. In order to achieve bipartisan support, we need to package our dilemma for all three sides. Yes, there are three sides. The Republican libertarian approach, the establishment Democrat approach, and the progressive left approach. I have donated money to both Republicans and Democrats dependent on how receptive they are to our cause. Utilizing different language and talking points is fundamental. This is the best take I have ever seen on vaping. This is the best take. Example, when I write to Republicans, I reference overregulation and speak of liberty values. Yeah, doesn't that hit with you? Hits with me. Overregulation, get the hell out of here. Liberty values, fuck yeah, liberty. If we don't have liberty, we have nothing. When I wrote to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez two weeks ago, I explained that we are a grassroots response to big tobacco being snuffed out by the establishment-driven private health care system. When I contact establishment Democrats, I ask how they can denounce government working in the favor of big corporations while shirking public health for pharmaceutical lobbies. The argument, our argument, depends on who you're talking to. Who are we trying to appeal to? We have talking points for literally every side of this argument, but it really depends on who you're talking to. Reaching across the aisle isn't a show of support. It's called political action, and it's what is required. I am an e-cig manufacturer in a progressive blue state which I love otherwise. It's a responsibility to reach out to them the best we can and not just say stupid Democrats and hope nothing happens. You all, not I'm not saying this to you guys, this is him kind of saying it to you guys through me, but this isn't necessarily from me, this is from John Nathan. You all need to learn how to put your personalities and politics aside and utilize the facts to petition your local officials, your elected officials, regardless of their affiliations and party denominations, end rant. And then he ended it with this picture. We need to learn how to put our personalities and politics aside 
and utilize the facts to petition our elected officials regardless of their affiliations and party denominations. This is the only way we're going to succeed. If we succeed, this is the way that we're going to succeed. My mind was blown reading this. This is the best take I've ever seen on the internet about vaping. Because I, I, I could not agree with it more. Could not agree with it more. Daniel Jones and I, who, I, I, by the way, I miss Daniel Jones as well. I should hit her up. I know she's been busy. She moved across the country. She's in a new place now and she's doing AI art and stuff like that. I need to catch up with, uh, with Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones and I did a TBN when Biden became president explaining this exact thing, saying, hey, for the last four years, we've had a Republican majority and we use Republican talking points when we're trying to talk about vaping. Things like liberty and freedom and overregulation and small government. Those are Republican talking points. And then when Biden was coming into power, we were trying to explain to people that we have to approach them differently. You approach progressive leftists differently than you would approach Democrats. You approach Democrats differently than you would approach a Republican or a libertarian. We have to speak to what they are receptive to. Nobody cared. <laughs> Nobody cared. And I'm not trying to come down on you guys, but man, I got a lot of hate for that. Man, I got a lot of hate for that. Why the fuck would I try to talk to Joe Biden? Why the fuck would I try to talk to a Democrat? Like, well, they're the ones in power. <sighs> Do you want anything to change? Then those are the ones in power and you have to know how to talk to them. Unfortunately, yeah. Look, I agree with you, Apathy Miller. It fucking sucks that vaping is even a political uh, talking point. It's stupid. It's stupid. It should be a public health, science-based, evidence-based issue, period. But it's not, and, and it never will be in the United States. It might be in other countries like the United Kingdom or Sweden where they go, here's the science, here's this, let's end smoking, everybody go nuts and vape. It should be, it's not. It's not. Good night, dastardly deeds. It's not. And so when we talk to people, we need to speak their language. If we want vaping to succeed, we need to be polite and we need to use the talking points, like I said, that politicians, regardless of the political spectrum, are going to be receptive to. If, if, if you're in New York and you're trying to get AOC's attention, you're not going to do it with like libertarian talking points. She just doesn't care because she's not a libertarian. But if you talk to her about big government, uh, big corporations, you know, big pharma trying to take us out and we're a grassroots movement, that's something that will resonate with her and she might actually take a look at it. I'm not going to say no to anybody's help and I'm not going to stand in the way of anybody that is defending vaping. I think I've made my peace on this, but this is, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Except Justin Amash, but he's not a politician anymore. I would say fuck all politicians except Justin Amash, because, but he's not a politician anymore. Really loved Justin Amash, damn it. He was my one hope. He was my one politician where I was like, you know what? I like you. I like you, Justin Amash. But he went and did you know, the responsible thing. He retired from Congress early because he's like, there's not supposed to be career politicians. I came in, I served my time, I did my civic duty, and now I'm stepping down so someone else can come in. And I thought, ah, you got to play their game a little bit. You got to play their game a little bit. Longer. Be, be, be a congressperson longer, Justin Amash. Okay, that's it. I'm going to wrap up news and advocacy. Let's get out of this. Term limits. I agree on term limits, but there's also nuance to that discussion as well. There's also nuance to the term limit discussion as well, because I'd like to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyler's right. See, you thought news and advocacy was over. You're wrong. Uh, Golden Colorado just uh, voted to ban all flavored 
tobacco products and, and nicotine, flavored tobacco and nicotine. So they call out flavored nicotine. Golden Colorado, flavor ban, flavor ban. It happened, it's passed. Um, you'll see that the reason that they did it was she said she watched kids use vapes in school bathrooms. And this is my favorite part. Allowing for over 21 stores to continue selling flavored tobacco products will not only water down the impact of this policy, it would maintain the top source of accessibility for kids, which is just having someone over 21 buy it for them. That's why they're not allowing it in over 21 vape shops, because it would water down the impact of this policy and would still allow for older kids to buy younger kids something that's illegal. I would like to ask Eric Eidhorn how he feels about alcohol in liquor stores. Genuinely. And I'm not trying to get liquor in trouble or alcohol stores in trouble, but what the fuck? I can go into a liquor store and, 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 and buy a shit ton of Jack Daniels or whatever Johnny Walker that I want to because I'm an adult and I'm 21 and it's in a 21 and over store. So you're telling me that... You can't have nicotine in 21 over stores because that would uh, still get to kids, but we're totally cool having alcohol in 21 and over stores because that magically won't get to kids. Fuck that guy. Fuck Golden Colorado. No, don't fuck Golden Colorado. I like Golden Colorado. I like Colorado in general. I don't want to talk trash on Colorado, but yeah, flavor ban just happened. Flavor ban just happened. So look, you know, there was a call to action for the the Golden Colorado flavor ban for a minute. Looks like it went through. You know, just trying to do everything I can. Just trying to do the best we can. We're going to lose, lose a lot of people. We're going to lose a lot of uh, <laughs> battles and flavor bans and taxes in the meantime. But <sighs> let's get it. Let me be done with news and advocacy, okay? Let me be done. Let's have a... Let's have a quick vape break. Let's put let's have a quick vape break and then uh what the hell? What else are we gonna do? It's six thirty. I guess it's time to have a contest. Damn. Might be time to have a contest. Let's uh let's let's have a quick little vape break here though, you guys. Vape if you got them. Vape if you got them. One of the reasons I think they really, really hate vaping, one of the reasons, and I've talked about this ad nauseum, and I talked about this in, in my Patreon, I believe, it's because it's enjoyable. I really think that's a really big reason why people hate vaping so much is because we were, you know, deplorables, right? We were filthy smokers. We were just bottom rung of society go outside to smoke, you stink like an ashtray, you're just a filthy smoker, you made the decision to ruin your body and ru you know harm every organ in your body and you know, harm your lungs and harm your heart and harm your kidney. You made that decision, you're addicted to it. I think quitting to them is like the punishment for starting. And when we can quit with an enjoyable watermelon flavor, and it's effortless and it's easy and we enjoy it and we have not just enjoy it, we have fun. We've built an entire community around having fun with vaping and they hate that because there's no punishment for us. There's no punishment for me. I don't get punished for quitting smoking. I got to quit really easily. And I think everybody should get to quit really easily. But I think that they think that there should be a punishment for smoking. And I think that they think that they hate us because we enjoy it so much. Because we enjoy it so much. And because, look, quitting smoking disrupts the status quo of a lot in the U.S. A lot. Yeah, filthy smoker, says the filthy alcohol caffeine user. Yeah. I'm pro-substance use, though. 
I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm liberal like that. I'm very pro substance use. I watched uh, even though he doesn't do vape stuff anymore. I watched uh, vaping with Twisted 420 the other day, and he took some. Look, this is a dumb thing to do, but it was highly entertaining. Uh, on Instagram, it might have been on his YouTube. Let's check. Let's check in on old 420. What the hell's this guy been up to? Uh, he did a little review for these air quote legal. Yeah, legal mushrooms. He Legal mushroom gummies. Which is weird to do. Okay, hang on. Let me kill this. Let me kill this music. Legal mushroom gummies. And he ate this whole pack of gummies that are apparently legal mushrooms. Ate the whole pack of gummies and then just tripped balls and recorded it. He's like, I'm going to eat the whole pack. He ate the whole pack. And he's like, I'm about an hour into this trip right now. And there's some light melting and faces look different. And the edge of my couch looks really, really furry. And I'm just tripping. It's been an hour. It was really entertaining to watch. I wouldn't do that on my YouTube, but he can do it on his YouTube. It's his YouTube. He can do whatever he wants. But his tripping mushrooms video, which I may have been a bad call. I was, it was highly, highly entertaining, highly entertaining. He, he made it earn. He made it really seem like they were really tripping him out. Like he was talking about faces melting and his couch melting and his couch being furry and things like this. I don't know. I don't, I don't partake, but for people that do could be a thing, you know, metal or die three years, smoke free, fuck combustion, harm reduction all the way. <laughs> You're going to fit in just fine around here, metal or die. You're going to fit in just fine. All Presidents should all legalize all of it. I'm glad that RFK Jr. said he's going to legalize psychedelics. It's not an easy, you know, it's like, you know, when Biden was talking, when he was running, he was talking about legalizing cannabis. Ooh, look at that. Here we are in 2023, still uh, federally illegal. Great. Maybe it's because it's not as super easy as he thinks to just, I'm going to legalize psychedelics. How do I do that? It's like, oh, okay, well, you need to get uh, congressional support. Uh, we'd need to write a bill and make amendments and then vote on it and probably slide some other things in there because America is a big fucking clusterfuck of bureaucracy. And, you know, we don't pass individual bills anymore. We just pass omnibus budget bills that's like, Here's all the stuff from this year that we're trying to pass, and we're going to put it in this one big thing that everybody has to vote yes on. Ha-ha! That's how, that's how it goes in America. I didn't even vape on my vape break. Let's get some more vaping. Um, yeah, let's have a contest. Let's have a contest. Damn, vape that dry. Yeah. Now this contest, it's going to be a, a little bit of a confusing contest. Just kidding. It's not. It's the classic. It's the classic Grim Green contest. You know, whoops. The classic Grim Green contest right here. This is the uh, how long Will it take me to reassemble all of this? How long? You're going to email contest at grimgreen.com. Someone wants to put that in the chat. Addy Tooney usually does the contest at grimgreen.com. I'll write it on a Sharpie right here. Oh, that's right. My wife has both my Sharpies. Okay. I will write it right here. Dot com. Okay. Contest at groomgreen.com. That's where you're sending your email. How long, how long do you think it's going to take me to put all this back together? 
not including wicking our very random liquid tasting, not including wicking the random liquid tasting, just putting all this back together to get ready for storage. I'll try to hold it up a little bit so you can see what's going on there. There's some stuff. This represents two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Catch. Get ready for a surprise. No, total recall, nobody? Two weeks. Okay. So you're gonna email contest at groomgreen.com. You're gonna email me literally right now, contest at groomgreen.com. Uh, I'm gonna make the cutoff before I start putting things together. I have a, uh, let's see, I got a, I got a, let's see, I got a timer here. Can that, is that on, is that on camera? That's not quite on camera, is it? Here. There we go. And then you're going to still mail contest at groomgreen.com. So I'm going to start the timer. I'm going to start assembling this stuff. Uh, let's get some uh, guessing music going. Let's get some guessing music going there. It looks like about four minutes. Yeah, you never know. You might be surprised. You might be surprised how fast or slow that I am because I'm both of those things. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Oh, what the crap just happened? Apple did something that I don't know what it did. Oh, okay. Hey, there we go. Now. <laughs> Man, that was really weird. I didn't know I could do that. I combined two windows together in, 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 my, in, my, in my Mac, and I didn't know I could do that. Mac? You fit in here. Dude, everybody fits in here. Everybody. Not Nazis. Not Nazis. But literally everybody else. Literally everybody else. So get those uh, get those guesses in. Remember, remember what you're guessing for. It's a, it's a green empire le special super limited edition grim army boosh empire skeleton empire Woo! may the odds be forever in your favor may the odds be ever in your favor uh <laughs> no frames janklin i need to practice for the build-off I need to actually practice. Like if we're gonna do the type two on a build off, bro, I need to practice. Practice. I need to practice. I just picture Sean Typhon just destroying me. <laughs> just annihilating me. I don't know how fast he is on the type two, but uh, I have a feeling he's gonna annihilate me. So, uh, looks like, uh, let's see, how many, uh, did we get in? About 160, about 160. And it's going to be the, the very first correct, closest, closest answer. 175 people in here. All right. I think I'm going to cut this off in, uh, one minute and start the timer. When we get to one minute, I'm cutting off the, the, the voting, or I'm cutting off the contest entries, and we're actually gonna execute this thing. You got one minute. You got about 45 seconds left if you wanna get one. If you wanna get one in. I know, the clock is ticking. I've been actively avoiding it, Frames Janklin. Every time, I'm gonna practice this weekend with my Type 2. We'll make some definitive plans. We'll set a date, bro, we'll set a date. Yes, there it is. Thank you, Ern. There it is. Appreciate you. All right, we got about 15 seconds left to get your uh, answers in, your, your guesses for how long this is going to take me. Here's a missing O-ring. Okay. Well, that's it. So, I'm going to cut this off right here 
at uh, that one. That is the last acceptable question. <laughs> nope, that's it. You guys are too slow. Too slow. Too slow. Everybody that's sending them in right now. Sorry, microwave oven. Too slow. Ray, too slow. All right, here's the thing. I'm going to cut it off here. Now, that's it. That's it. Anything coming in? Okay, I'll change it to this one right now. Ronnie Morgan, you're the last one. You're the last one. You're the last entry. I've, I got 200 entries here. That's too many entries. So, I'm going to start the clock. Let me just... I do want to do this quickly, you know. So I'm trying to get a, a little bit of a game plan. What are you? Oh, you're the uh, Danny? Okay. Okay, here we go. Pow. Here we go. This is fine. This is easy. Look at that. Asmodus. Boosh. Done. Right here. That's a Danny. Boosh. Done. Done 9,000. Drip tip. Nothing to do there. Here is the steam shell with a messed up coil in it that I messed up on purpose, on accident. It's gonna go there. We're gonna assemble this little crypt tank over here. It's fine, those are assembled. Uh-oh, what's this? What are you? What are you? Okay, I'm gonna put you to the side right there. I think this goes here, yep. Are you the glass for this? Nope. Are you the glass for this? Nope. Are you the glass for this? Yep. Um, and then you must be the arbiter glass. Where is the top? Here it is. All right. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. You're there. You are the retro vape from last week, aren't you, fella? That doesn't go there. That's tripod. Where's the piece I'm missing? Yeah, this goes on here. Am I crazy? Does this not go on here? Oh no, this is the origin. This is the origin. This goes on here. Nope, this goes on here. And then the deck for it is here. Okay. Bam. And then this is the origin, and the tip is here. Bam, you're the drip tip. Tripod. Boosh. Nope, that's not the top of the tripod. Where's the top of the tripod? Oh, oh, I'm missing parts. Shit, I'm missing the top of my tripod. That's okay. We'll, we'll find it eventually. Uh, this could be the Arbiter. Yeah, that's Arbiter. Where's the Arbiter base? There's the Arbiter base. Oh, but I need the chimney thingy, which is also missing. Uh, so here's the thing. I did drop this, and I think some of this stuff's under my desk, but I'm just going to get this assembled as I can. <laughs> you go there. Okay, that's for you. That's the random liquid tasting, so I'm gonna set you to the side. You go there, and you're just a sub tank. Whoops. And I don't have a base. Okay, so that is broken too. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom here. This might be one of my fastest times of all the times. Let's get you in there. We're on the Cabello now. Cabello goes in. Yes. Yes. Wait, here's the top of my tripod. Boom. That's boom. This is the last one. Ha! Woo! 334. Uh... Good. I mean, that's not bad. None of, some of these aren't completely reassembled. Like, uh, this one doesn't have a base. I think it's under my desk. <laughs> so I'm going to set these to the side with a time of 3 minutes and 34 seconds. 
3 minutes and 34 seconds. Technically, it isn't assembled until he finds all the parts. Oh, shit. Shit. How did I not know that about my own contest? Let's set these aside. Yeah, there's parts uh, on the ground for sure. And I think it's just the bottom of that, uh, of that particular sub tank. All right, all right. Let's turn this down a little bit. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go to the very end. Uh, and the time was three minutes, 34 seconds. I'm going to write that down just so I remember. Whoops. <laughs> remember when you used to click your iPad and it would lock? So, hi, too high, Apathy Miller. Six minutes, 11 minutes, five minutes. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This one is pretty close. That one's pretty close. Oh, that one's pretty close. Oh my, okay. Oh, is this one? Nope, this one's not closer. Okay, so we have one right now that is the closest as of right now. Ooh, that's closer. Yep, that's closer. Okay, so that means this one. Sorry, Breeze Tones. You were very close. You were very close, but there is someone right now who's closer. Let's keep going. That's pretty close. Oh, that's pretty close. 13 minutes. Dang. 45 minutes, Lady Liberty. 45 minutes, Lady Liberty. Have some faith in your boy here. Earn real close. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, that is the very closest. Uh, sorry, Ryan, but there's someone who's closer now. Nope, never mind. Never mind, my dyslexic brain saw that wrong, so. No, no, no. No, oh. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Nope. Nope, nope. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, no. Nope. 20 minutes, four minutes and 20 seconds is pretty close. Not quite close enough. Oh, there's an even closer one. Uh, that might be the winner. Hang on, let me keep looking for something closer. But this person is only a few seconds off. Nope, no one's closer. The first closest one. Nope, 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 nope. I like that these guesses are wildly all over the place. They range from like two minutes. Someone was like two minutes. I was like, whoa, two minutes. That's that's a little too much faith. That's a little too much faith in your boy. All the way up to like 18 minutes. <laughs> 33 minutes. Appreciate that, Amy. 33 minutes. I'll be honest. Like sometimes it does take me 33 minutes. 312 is pretty close. Two minutes, four minutes, 49 minutes. Hang on, I'm gonna go through the rest of these, but I believe it's pretty close. That's pretty close. It's still, this person is the closest. 48, nope. Nope, I think we have a winner. I think we have a winner. Oh, no. I am sorry. There is. Okay, there's a new front runner. There is a new front runner. Oh, the anticipation on this is just killing me. There is a new front runner. 
Hang on, I only got one more page to check because that's the cutoff. Okay. Okay. There is a winner. I have the winner. I'm going to write this person's name down right here. I even signed it because you didn't ask, but I'm going to do it anyway. Damn it. We have a winner. There was a, there was a, there, we have a winner. We have a, an undisputed winner. I'm going to reply to you literally right now. Holy crap. Yo. The winner, the recipient. The, the correct guesser of this contest, the recipient of their very own Lime Green Grim Army LE Special Edition Empire. You wait for it? You ready for it? Oh, it's microwave oven. It's microwave oven. Microwave oven. Congratulations, microwave oven. Freaking congratulations. You guessed it uh, within one second. You guessed it within one second. The previous person was there by three seconds. You were there by one second. You guessed three minutes and 35 seconds, and it was three minutes and 34 seconds. Congratulations, microwave oven. Congratulations. You know, I, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, microwave oven. I see you in the chat all the time. I appreciate you being here. You're always nice. You're always pleasant. You're always helpful. You always are, are just great to the people around you. I'm a big fan, Microwave Oven. I'm a, I'm a big fan. So congratulations. Uh, I emailed you. Email me back, please. Uh, I just need a picture of your photo ID, you know, so we can uh, make sure you're old enough, which I'm assuming you are because... Nobody under like nobody under 30 watches my videos. Nobody under like 35 watches my videos. So congrats. This is headed to you. I'm going to put it back in the in the winner pile back here. Congrats. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well done. All right. Uh we haven't even retro vaped yet, bro. Can you believe it? Congratulations, my queen. Congratulations. Microwave oven, you deserve it. You deserve it. That's some good, yeah, some good clean fun, you know? Let's have that's what I'm all about. Let's have some good clean fun. But do we want to run long and retro vape? Hang on, let's check in on the super chats and then we'll retro vape. Whoops. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. He did it. He did it. You know? Did it. Uh, let's see what's going on over here in Super Chat land. Uh, it's it's Dee Dee, damn it. It's Dee Dee, damn it. Two YouTube doctors recently posted a video spewing such flagrant misinformation. I got so frustrated I couldn't finish watching it. I will locate a number of your links and respond to them with facts. Please do. Didi, please do. And if you have any way to get me that video, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. There's nothing more <laughs> that I love than telling doctors about evidence. Because with doctors, it's easy because that is truly bipartisan. You're speaking to them as a, as a human to a medical professional. So you speak the language that they understand. You ask them things like, why do you agree with the National, Engin National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine? Have you noticed, have you YouTube doctors noticed that you disagree with the Royal College of Physicians? 
61,000 doctors worldwide, you're on the opposite side of that. You realize you disagree with the Cochrane Tobacco Addiction Group, the gold standard of meta-analysis. You know you guys disagree with them? It's crazy. Why do you guys disagree with Cancer Research UK? It's unbelievable. I love it. God, it's satisfying. God, it's satisfying. Barbara Burgess, to quote brother, give me some love, not 1984. So hey, vape fam and the green family, love you all. Hey, Barbara, love you. That's my cousin, Barbara. She's pretty dope. I'll give her a thumbs up. Um, I'm almost done with 1984. I've, I, I've been reading it for two years now and I'm finally almost done with it. I did take a one year break from reading because God, 1984 got so boring. It's like 60%, 60% through the book, I just wanted to throw it into the garbage. I thought this is the most boring book in the history of boring books. And then, and then it suddenly becomes awesome. Like the third act is amazing. Amazing. Am I overusing Chef's Kiss? Amazing. Mike T, 206. But you bumped that fist. You didn't say anything and you never have to, but you bumped that fist. I appreciate you, Mike T. Hope you're having a good night, dude. Fishy, love this community. First of all, that's very gracious of you, Fishy. Love this community. Love the people in it. Love advocating for the best quit smoking method the world has ever seen. Yes. Yet here we are dealing with all this BS. Love you all. Keep fighting. Hell yeah. Keep fighting. Uh, the, honestly, Fishy, the love of the community is one of the highly motivating factors in, in defending vaping on a regular basis, on a regular basis, because I don't like, I don't like people talking shit about the vape community. I get really, really defensive of that. I go, Oh, hang on. Fuck you. Okay. First of all, you, you got no idea what's going on. We help each other out here. There's a lot of people in recovery here. There's a lot of people dealing with uh, you know, neurodivergent issues and mental health issues and whatever health issues and depression. And we try to help each other out here. We, we really, really do. And it's the love of community, honestly, that keeps me going because I want to make the community bigger. I want more dope ass people involved in this. We need, we need more dope ass people like fishy, right? Appreciate you fishy. Uh, Maria Devine, uh, I'm under 30 and I watch your videos. I'll be 26 next month. Okay, fine. Okay, so one person, Maria, one, <laughs> one person under 30 watches my videos, which is honestly, that's, like, that's a little bit shocking to me. I think, well, maybe not like late 20s, 30s, I could see watching Grim Green videos, but when you realize that I'm just an old man, then it, you know, the, the appeal just drops off, just drops off. Um, we're going to do birthdays next. Adrian Sanchez. Hey, love you. Adrian Sanchez. Love you, bro. Hope you're doing good. New wave, <laughs> new wave, Dave. Hella chats. Okay. New wave, Dave. See, this is the discount way that new wave Dave gets his super chats in. He can spend $2 on a super chat to tell me to read the hella chats. And then the hella chats are cheaper with more characters it's a nice little scam you got going there, New Wave Dave. Nice little grift. Nice little grift you got going there. But New Wave Dave, he says, I was doing dishes, staring outside, when I saw my cat pulling into the driveway fast as fuck. Just behind him was a clown car. When it pulled in behind him, I saw the door fly open and 20 clowns started coming out chasing my cat. He came in yelling, give Nick five bucks. Clowns? Clowns, first of all, what the hell is your cat hanging out with clowns for? No one should be hanging out with clowns. No one. Not even clowns. No clowns hanging out with clowns. Um, I'm, <laughs> this poll, you guys, everything you touch turns to pizza. This is really how you're voting? Everything you touch turns to pizza? Everything you touch turns to pizza. Everything you touch turns to pizza. Just want everybody to, to really think about that, really absorb that. Thank you, Lord Sigurd. 
Keeping it real on Twitch. I appreciate that. Everything you touch turns to pizza. You know, Jeremy M., hell yeah. You know what? This hits with me. I've been dealing with depression since my mom passed, thanks to my wife, my church family, my Celebrate, uh, my celebrate Recovery family, and my, fa- my vape family. I'm making it through. I'm happy to be a part of whatever's helping you make it through, Jeremy M., you know? I always say this. I always say this. The world's tough enough. The world sucks, and it's tough, and it's, it's just maggoty, maggoty with suffering, maggoty with suffering. We don't need to be picking at each other. We need to be helping each other out. We need to be telling each other, hey, love you. Yeah, hashtag pizza dick, hashtag pizza wife, hashtag pizza dog, hashtag pizza car, hashtag pizza phone, hashtag pizza computer. What are you, crazy? Hashtag pizza couch, pizza kitchen, pizza face, pizza hat, pizza, anything you touch. Anything you touch turns to pizza. I mean, it's not ideal. (laughs) Drift theory. (laughs) I mean, it's not ideal, but pizza is delicious. Not a bad way to go. I will wear a clown wig forever glued to my head permanently for the rest of my life rather than everything I touch turns to pizza. Could you imagine how disorienting that would be? You'd have to wear gloves all the time everywhere. What if you accidentally forgot? One of your buddies can turn everything into pizza. He just comes up, slaps you on the back. He's like, hey, what's going on, bro? Pam. Oh, your back is pizza. You die because your spinal cord is pizza. Pizza butt. Yeah, pizza butt. The gloves become pizza. VHS queen. The gloves become pizza. There is no escaping. This sounds like a... This honestly sounds like a Twilight Zone episode. It should be a Twilight Zone episode. The gloves will turn into pizza. But if you're wearing pizza gloves, then technically that should stop the pizza-ing, right? Because it's just everything you touch turns to pizza. So if you put on gloves, pizza gloves, but those pizza gloves could theoretically like pick up a glass and drink because the pizza power is just going into the existing pizza gloves and not necessarily through the pizza gloves into what are we talking about why are we talking about this (laughs) pizza gloves what am i doing what am i doing with my life (laughs) cover yourself in pizza you're safe pizza gloves yeah no Pizza vapes, you don't want it. You don't want it. Can I be Pizza the Hut in a clown wig? Yes. You can be Pizza the Hut in a clown wig. Okay, uh, hang on. I was was there super chats? That's right, there was hella chats. Wee baby Seamus. Scotch, scotch, scotch. I love scotch. Now it goes down. Down into my belly. Mm-mm-mm. Hashtag yo yo cool kids rule the world. Hashtag Grim Army. Hashtag Club Sinister for Life. Hell yeah, Seamus. I hope you're doing awesome, bro. Seriously. Scotch, scotch, scotch. I love scotch. I love Duchess. And the beer. Ha, ah, Gibby. Hey, Gibby. Gilby. That's very gracious of you, Gilby5000. You didn't say anything. You didn't. You never have to. There's a fist bump for you. Mick Blizzard says, hey, Nick. You should remove the album from the wall and use the battle rages on as the channel theme tune. You know, I would if I could, Mick. I would if I could, but YouTube really very dislikes it when you use commercial music. (laughs) But otherwise I would. Otherwise I would. Deep Purple, just rip that off the wall. Battle rages on. I'm here for you. I'm here for you, Mick. I'm here for it as well and you hell gilby it's okay you screwed the last one up i've been watching you for nine years and 10 months i'm 36 now september 3rd is my 10 year i still want that touch wood gibby yeah I i know who you are i know who you are we've talked about the touch wood i've tried to dig it out a thousand times I've not stopped thinking about the touch wood. I just want you to know that. I'm well aware of the touch wood. This goes back years, bro. This is like 2017 we were talking about this touch wood. Well, happy 10 years. Happy 10-year vape anniversary. 
Can't believe you've been watching for nine years. That's bananas. That's longer than I've watched some TV shows. Sean Johnson says, hey, Grim, I'm 23 and I watch the vids. Oh, okay, 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 23, you youngin. You got me off dual use with SIGs and disposables. Recently started DIY mixing and I got my first RDA. Love this community. Hell yeah, Sean Johnson. Hell yeah, Sean Johnson. No more dual use. Get away from those SIGs. DIY some delicious flavors. Go subscribe to like DIY or Die or Fresh 03 or uh, Mixing It Up. You know, Sifu and uh, who's on Mixing It Up? Isn't it Sifu Tribal Buddha? Mixing It Up. There's lots of uh, DIY uh, resources on the internet, on the YouTube, in the YouTube sphere, Sean Johnson. Happy to see you here. Congrats on quitting smoking at 23. That rules. I smoked for another year after 23. <laughs> so congrats on getting there early. Congrats on getting there early. The great Seamus says, <laughs> yeah, can I be a uh, pizza the hut in a clown wig? Pete, great Seamus. You can do anything you set your mind to. And I believe that you can be pizza the hut in a clown wig. That would be a sick tattoo as well. Pizza the hut in a clown wig. Fishy dude. My hair already looks like clown hair. I had to choose the pizza. <laughs> you do not <laughs> have clown hair. <laughs> Just fishy in the clown hair. Fishy in the great clown hair. It's okay, fishy. I would never call your hair clown related. Cool Tech Dreamer. Hella rad vlog as always. Any chance you could tell me how to pay for my special order, Yo Yo Empire, without getting in YouTube jail? Shout out to all you, if you're referring to the green empires, is that what you're referring to? Cool tech dreamer. You will get sent an invoice. I believe let's touch base on this, but I believe you're going to get sent an invoice from them <laughs> and they will send you an invoice. I think that's how it's going to work. Cool tech dreamer. Shout out to all. Yeah, I mean, can't lose with that. Shout out to all. Cool Tech Dreamer. Appreciate you, bro. Hope that answered your question. Probably didn't. Dr. Von Braun, that's very gracious of you. Did you just throw a burrito out your window? <laughs> Did you just throw a reader out your window? Well, guess what? Now this is happening. <laughs> Anchorman. So funny. Anchorman. Okay, I'm going to... I do have to really take a bio break real quick, but we're going to come back and retro vape and liquid taste. Probably not at the same time, although maybe at the same time, maybe at the same time, we might do the old, uh, the old famous retro vape liquid tasting. Uh, I do have to bio break. I'll be right back. that too loud? I'm sorry if that was like excessively loud. I didn't even check the, didn't even check the gate. Hey, check the gate. Didn't check it. Sorry. Also, 
here's random, you know, just things that put a smile on your face. I walk out uh, into the living room area and I'm like, I just got to go pee. My wife, topless, just topless, just topless in the kitchen. She claims she was trying on clothes from Amazon. Yeah, I think she just likes to walk around topless, which is fine with me, which is fine. I'm completely fine with that. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, but here we are anyway. Let's retro vape. Okay, okay, let's retro vape. Let's stop thinking about my topless wife and let's retro vape. Does anybody, okay, so first things first, this device is a retro device. This is the Supremo Spade. This was the Spade from Supremo. This, this is why people talk about that there's not like no more innovation in vaping anymore because this Supremo from, this Spade from Supremo came out eight years ago, eight years ago, eight or, eight or nine years ago. It's just a single 18650 regulated but it's just a little boxy 18650 regulated. So these days when I see a little boxy 18650 regulated device come out, it's like, hey, I've seen this before. Hey, I've seen this before. I've been looking at single 18650 regulated devices since 2012, you know? <laughs> since 2000, since 2011. No, not that long, but still, you know, it's been a thing. Now this, can anybody, let's see. Oh, sorry, Ern, that's going away. Can anybody tell me based on, based on dangle clacks, hang on, we'll get there. Based on dangle clacks, okay, maybe I'm gonna have to use this camera where it won't focus. Based on that deck, man, that's upsetting that this camera won't activate. I wonder if it's a bad HDMI cable. Oh, that sucks. Based on that deck, I don't know if anybody can guess it. Based on that deck, let me get out some round wire because we're going to be building round wire. Let me get out a coily buildy tool because we're going to be using a coily buildy tool. Let me get out some clippers because we're going to be using clippers. Let me get out. That's it. I think that's it. That's what we're doing. Not a Kennedy, not an IPv6. I'm going to start wrapping coils for this while you guys guess. We're going to do two round wire coils in this. 24 gauge, all NI80, anarchist, Anarchist NI-80. Oh, wait, wait. It'll work. Why is that bottom part frozen? Ah, hang on. Ah. I don't know why that's frozen. It's still just frozen. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, it's great. Uh, hang on. Sorry. Uh, listen, the, the Wi-Fi is down at the moment. Jeremy V. Uh, okay. Here's the thing. I can't get my up close camera back, but son of a bitch. Uh, let me make sure I'm on the right Wi-Fi because I can get my camera back. Yeah, I'm on the right Wi-Fi. Shit. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. Everyone refresh. Shit. Still there? Did you turn it off and on again? 
Okay, so the only problem that I think we're gonna have for the rest of the night is that my all none of my cameras work. Uh, these two are just dark blackness. This one works. So that's it. No more up close. That's okay. Hey, hu huge old dangle clack. Ho ginormous dangle clack. Ginormous <laughs> dangle clack. Your refund, Rocco. Yeah, I apologize. Your refunds will be in the mail. Your refunds will be in the mail. Um, don't even trip. Huh. How do none of my fucking cameras work? Oh, oh, I know what the problem is. Does that work yet? Plato? Yeah, okay. It's working. That's not, but this is. Okay. 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 We're back in action. We're back, baby. Uh, so here's what happened. I was just talking. I was just talking. And, uh, yep, the stream just stopped. It said, your stream is over. Do you want to still record? And I was like, no. And then I went over to, uh, okay. Oh, God, it's still here. Okay. Just the normal chat is gone. Let me refresh this. Everything died. My computer just died, like straight up died, died. And then I didn't have any internet and everything gave me error warnings. It was like, nope, no internet, no internet, no internet. So I restarted the router and it was giving me uh, all sorts of errors, giving me bandwidth, like a flashing broadband button. And so I had to hold the thing and then unplug it, replug it back in hold it, do the thing, wait for the lights to come back on. As soon as the bottom light started flashing again, it's like, all right, I'll, I'll plug in my mesh network. So we plug that in, we boom, we go. It's okay, you know. Sometimes life just throws you big ass uh, dangle clacks. And then sometimes you just uh, fucking deal with it. And that's what we're doing right now. So I'm going to quickly build some 24 gauge anarchist one two three whoops started making a stove top again started making a stove top again by accident it's easy to do it's easy to do all right so i hope everybody's comes comes back it's okay it's just gonna be me and you guys it's like 50 of us because everybody left that's fine it's not a hunter rda uh, Osiris reviews coming soon. Look, I got a full plate, man. Here's the reviews I have to do. That's all the videos I have to shoot. Some of them, two of them need to be edited. The rest of them need to be filmed. And that's a shit ton of videos. And I'm only one man. Okay, let's try this again. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, 24 gauge, two millimeters, two millimeter, seven wrap. That's what we're doing on this mother trucker. Mother trucker. Is that what Rip Tripper says? Rip Tripper says mother trucker. I turned the, that's what happened, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> The pizza hands, the pizza hands came back to haunt me. The pizza hands. One, two, three, four, five, or six, and then a seven wrap right there. Classic Ruby build. We still call it the Ruby build despite everything. Okay, so this is a three post deck, which traditionally isn't my favorite. It's just not my favorite, but I think we can make do. I think we can make this work. 
Over 28 years not smoking and vaping. Over 28 years not smoking and vaping now and now vaping after 28 years. Vape guy 47. Hell yes. Vape and good health. Vape and good health. Oh, phrasing. I love you, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. T take care of yourself. Oh, bro. All right. Hope to see you. If not, lay down. I understand. Lay down. Man, that sucks. I feel for you, phrasing. Sorry to hear that, bro. Uh, except we want the upper wrap to go on the outside. So we're going to do this. Oh my God, Supremo. Why can't I get these in here? Um, the one thing is they're rounded, you know, they're round posts, but they have like weird little pockets in the side and it constantly catches the tip of the lead. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's right. If you're used to the Tuesday, is that real or is that a pause? No, that's a pause, you're right. Not even through the middle. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I haven't even told anybody what this RDA is yet. Holy shit. This is the most annoying post holes I've ever dealt with. And I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with it. Okay. Boom, okay. At least I got one lead secured. It has been secured. I'm gonna trim the second one, but I'm not gonna screw it down just yet. Because I got another coil here. I got another coil here. I'm going to pre-clip. Oh, that's going to be tough. No, I'm not going to pre-clip it. Mm, I'm going to have to. It's a three post. I didn't even think about it. But yeah, I'm going to need to uh, pre-clip this. And I'm going to eyeball it. And that's the worst way to do it. Seriously. Oh. Hope that's good enough. Thanks uh, to the people who stuck around through uh, Dangle Clack Marathon. That was a lot of fun. Wow, this is a supremely obnoxious RDA. Holy fuck. Maybe it's just because of the Dangle Clack. Maybe it's just because of the Dangle Clack. Whoops. Maybe it's just because of the Dangle Clack. Got my nerves all up, but I'm ready to punch this RDA in the face. Oh my God. What the hell is wrong with this thing? Okay, so I'll just tell you, it's the Freak Show Mini. It's the Freak Show Mini, and it's terrible. It is just the worst. It's not that bad, but it is terrible. Freak Show Mini was 2016 for sure. Peak 2016. 
You can tell with Tofo Freak Show Mini, it's got cruddy grub screws. It's got terrible machining. The center post spins. Well, this install isn't going to win any awards. I don't think it would get any likes on Instagram, but I think it is going to vape. So that's something we can look forward to. That's something we can look forward to. It's something we can all look forward to together. Round wire life. Round wire life. Round wire life. Do you see how the center post spun a little bit because the lead coming up from the bottom is wicked off center? It's just because the center post was spinning. It's just a problem that these used to have. I had to ridiculously center my coils and I didn't even get them far enough out over the airflow because the airflow comes in from the bottom. So you get to do that. Yeah, where is my desktop punching bag? Jay Blaze, you're making an excellent point here. I actually don't know where my desktop punching bag is. Can it be a desktop freak show mini that I have to punch? I find it hard to believe that this is 0.13 resistance. 0.1 watt increments, classic, classic terrible device. Just kidding, it's not terrible. All right, uh, let's start this at about 17 watts. Let's see what happens. It's round wire, so it should be. Uh... I still find this hard to believe it's reading a 0.13 with a two millimeter 24 gauge seven wrap. Glowing. Glowing, glowing, whoops. Glowing, glowing. Two millimeter, I don't have any two millimeter cotton. Uh, you think it's gonna be muted? Muted flavor? I haven't vaped a, <laughs> I don't think I've vaped a Freak Show Mini in a really long time. Wicked long time. Really wicked long, long ass time. Yeah, I know. I know, Advocate. I know, Tim. I'm not punching nothing. Lessons learned. I'm never punching anything ever again. Anything ever again. Here I am trying to fit two and a half millimeter cotton into a two millimeter coil. But hell, it'll work. Might even give me some crackle. I've never had crackle off of round wire. I mean, that's not true. I have had plenty of crackle off of round wire. I don't know why I felt the need to deceive you, but I have had plenty of crackle off of round wire. It's just not something that I can do consistently, you know, drip theory. Nope. The other one went in. This is going to be a little bit of a fucking struggle. You don't realize how small a two millimeter coil is until you build one. That's everybody's homework. Try to build a two millimeter coil or a round wire, doesn't matter. They are microscopic. Now, does anybody remember how to wick this? Cause I don't, I don't. I'm assuming I can just push it in. It's going to be a little Kennedy-ish. Kennedy-ish. All right. They can just be pushed right in. 
Look, it's actually not like a bad RDA. I don't want anybody getting the wrong idea. The, the Freak Show Mini is a perfectly fine RDA. Perfectly fine. It's just, you know, in comparison with today's RDAs. All right. Feel pretty solid about this wicking. And because we're short on time, now that we've built this retro vape, we've wicked it. Boom, Freak Show Mini. 24 gauge, two millimeter, seven wrap. Beautifully wicked. Airflow is coming up through the bottom. Here's a cap here. Boom. Bottom airflow, Kennedy status airflow, the weird freak show logo, 510 drip tip. That looks like the perfect home for something like this. Let's see. Might need a little uh, coaxing. Yeah. Yeah. Say something now. Boom. Oh, this is going to be great. But we can't vape it yet. We can't vape it yet because... Very random liquid tasting. It's a very random liquid tasting. It's going to happen at the same time. I know uh, I know someone's voting for Grappy because Grappy's back up. You believe that? Grappy. Okay, so let me get to the poll. First of all, let me roll that uh, shirts off in the pit. 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 Okay, let me get this wire. That was a hell of a dangle clack, wasn't it? Just a severe dangle clack. Um, that's right. Uh, everything you touch turns to pizza. I'm not hanging out with any of you people. You can touch me, turn me into pizza. Why would you do that? 54%. 54% would rather have pizza genitals than just wearing a clown wig. Just wear a clown wig. Just... Hey, that's fine. I am, uh, I'm never, I'm not here to judge a, a single person. Uh, it's kind of going to be, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a repeat happening here. What the fuck are you? So, these are the liquids that are up tonight. Since I don't have an up-close camera. Yep, still frozen there. Perfect. You'll love to see it. I don't know why the color is so bad on this camera. Is that better? No. Is that better? No. Is that better? What about this? Is that better? Is that better? No, that's yellow. Is that better? Hey, that's pretty good. Let's try that on for size. Here's what we're going to vote. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote mother trucking funky. So please vote. Please vote literally right now. If you don't vote today. Hi. Sorry. That was so loud. Dangle clacks. Dangle clacks. Grappy from Indonesia. Ink Lords. This is uh, Snow Nana. And this is Ink Lord's black to black. No idea. No idea what any of these are. 
Back to black. Black to black makes no sense. It could be a black licorice menthol, which would be messed up. Grappy's definitely grape. Frozen grape and apple. Grappy. That sounds great. Ink Lords could be like a frozen banana, Snow Nana. Ink Lords out of the UK. Uh, Grappy is out of Indonesia. Microwave oven. Grappy, Grappy, Grappy. Hey, vote your hopes though. You know, I'm not gonna tell you how to vote. Just vote for your, vote your hopes. Vote what you want to see win. I'm gonna sit here with this extra long drip tip. Just have a quick little vape break, you know? Just, just quick little vape break. Yeah, it's no big deal. Well, you vote. Yeah, if you don't vote right now, then the stream's gonna end. Please vote. If you don't vote, then you don't get to vote for girl. It's a celebration. Ink Lords versus Grappy. Who's going to win? Grappy. Well, damn, Grappy's actually getting up there. All right, I'm going to let some more people vote. Oh, Microwave Oven won the Empire. He should choose the liquid. Well, it's too late for that. We're voting. Grappy, Ink Lords. Dude, I cannot believe Grappy's getting that high. I cannot. Yeah, TJ, I totally did. Sir TJ, your package is out in the mail as of yesterday. Jubbies. Jubbies. Ah, Jubbies. What a simpler time that was. Remember the, remember the Jubbies time? That makes me mix, that makes me miss Derek. Remember Derek? Grappy needs time in the lime light. Uh, it's a grape flavor, so it needs time in the grape light. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Keegan. I think Grappy's going to take it. I might let a few more people vote, but yeah, run, Grappy is really running a busting campaign right now, microwave oven. The song even kind of sounds like it's singing about Grappy. Grappy, please vote for Grappy right now. Vote. Vote for Grappy. Vote, vote, vote. Vote for Grappy. Vote, vote, vote. Vote for Grappy. Hey, it's Russ. Hashtag not Russ. Hey now, Travis. Grape flavors are the worst. <coughs> oh, Chris, you just, <laughs> that took me so, by so, so much surprise. I was inhaling when you said that. You should hang out with my wife. She hates grapes. Not grapes, but anything grape flavored. She still holds a grudge about me making her uh, taste vape, grape vape liquids. And the other day I accidentally made her taste uh, grape. <laughs> it was a uh, grape, uh, not vitamin water. But what's the other one? Liquid IV. It was a grape liquid IV. I'm calling it. Grappy's killing it. Grappy, 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 Grappy. Do the happy dance. Do the grappy dance. Do the happy dance. Do the grappy dance. Do the happy dance. Do the grappy dance. Goodbye, Ink Lords. If you can even call yourselves Ink Lords. All right. So we got Grappy. Finally. Finally open. Um, it is from Indonesia. So... PG, VG, there you go. 60 mil, it's 50, 50, 21 and over. I believe this is three milligram. Boom, Grappy, there it is. You know how you can tell? It's got that Indonesia tobacco tax stamp on it. That means it's a legitimate, registered, legal Indonesia product. And that's pretty dope. Oh, Grappy. I've been waiting. Yeah, Steve Vapes, you know, I'm I'm with you. We've been waiting a while for Grappy. Grappy has been up here many times. Many times. And I guess it just took two Ink Lords 
to bring gr bring Grappy to the forefront. Smells exactly like I was expecting it to. Holy cow. Woo! I, I should have known. Indonesia. Indonesian vapors. First of all, let me say shout out to you. I love you. And your liquids are awesome. And really sweet and mentholated. Really sweet and culotta. I think that's just how they like it. I mean, obviously, that's just how they like it. I've had some of the most culotted out liquids ever in my life have come from Indonesia. Sotboa. That's something that everybody needs to taste. I might bring that to the Steel Valley meetup in September. I'm going to bring some Indonesian liquid Sotboa. Everybody can taste the most mentholated liquid in the history of time. Vapors happening. Hell yeah. Let's turn this wattage up. 2022. It's a 0.13. It's still reading a 0.13. That's only 27 watts on a 0.13. That doesn't make a lick of sense. All right. We're going to go with 28 watts on a 0.13. I'm going to... Uh, Let's unscrew this and see if we can't get a like a proper uh, check atomizer. Perfect. Okay, now it's reading a 0.17. That makes a little bit more sense. It's crazy that 28 watts is doing it. Let's go to at least 33 watts. There is a single coil option for this, but we're gonna go straight up dual coil. Uh, this is grape, apple, culotta. I kind of know exactly what I'm going to expect, but let's just have a, uh, a toot. Shout out to Tribal Buddha for the hella sick drip tip. I'm gonna even say that that's hella sick. Hella sick. Grappy, bro. All right. Uh, I'm just going to vape this for a little bit. I'll be right back. We'll talk about it. Do some super chats. Finally say goodnight. Let's taste. Okay, grappy. You ever just whew, menthol? This is a uh, culotted. Uh, I wouldn't say severely, but it is leaps and bounds more 
culotted out than any liquid I've ever had from the US. This legitimately, like, throw this in a pot or something, and it would be, it tastes like a disposable liquid. This is one of the few liquids I've had. I mean, Lunar Sweet Mango gives me a disposable vibe as well, but this really tastes like I'm vaping a disposable. It is strong. It is grape, it is apple, it is sweet, it is candied out, it is culotted out, and it just hits you in the face like a grappy. Exactly like a grappy. It's delicious. I'm a grape person. Give me grapes, put them in my face, don't even care, love them. Too many grapes, I'll take some off your hands. I love them. I love grapes, I love grape flavored things, I like grape bubble gum, grape vape liquid, grape soda. Give it to me. I love it. So this is really good. Oh my God, this is a good grape. This is a good grape. It's really nice and sweet, really fresh purple grape, loaded up with sweetener, loaded up with culotta. It tastes like a grapey ice disposable, Trinity. A hundred percent it does. Brenda, Brenda, is that Brenda? Hashtag shed time. Have a good night. Excellent. Excellent grape. Excellent grape. It has a lot of culotta in it, but because of the Lunar Sweet Mango, I've kind of like enjoy some heavy culotta now in liquids. Not always, but with this, it works. In the Lunar Sweet Mango, it works. I can even like breathe in now. I can feel it. I can feel it in my throat. That like cooling, that like completely arctic like hoth like the planet hoth is in your mouth hey yo yo big harlem i see you over there on twitch i love this grappy for the win grappy for the win listen indonesia is producing some high quality e-liquids. I will say this liquid is kind of already turning my coil brown, already. Zero spit back, Ray, zero spit back. I can drag confidently and firmly not even have to worry about it. More like cold. We've already made that Star Wars reference. Ah, oh, I like it. I like it. And let's look at this coil because look at it. It's already turning brown. Brown, brown. You know what that means? You can even see it building up already a little bit on the coil. Can you see that? Maybe if I crank my ISO up, you could see it. You see the, the gunk on the coil already? Already. That is gunk on the coil literally after, what was that, like 15 toots, half a dozen toots? This is gonna be a coil killer, coil destroyer. destroyer of coils and it's a 50 50 yeah and it's a 50 50 although not as throaty as i thought it would be 50 50s usually hit me real throaty this is not hey big harlem you're over there on twitch if you jump on youtube there's uh, more people in the chat I just leave the normal chat on Twitch now anyway. People can hang out wherever they want. Okay, that's it. Grappy gets 10 banana stickers, 10 Grappy apples, uh, two thumbs up, double horns, a war machine, and uh, just awesome. So good, Grappy. Thank you guys for choosing Grappy. Now Microwave Oven has to change his YouTube name. 
Now, now, <laughs> now Microwave Oven has to change his YouTube name. We voted for Grappy. We got Grappy. We're grappy in over here. Beautiful. Beautiful Grappy action. Now, listen. As for the Freak Show Mini and this Spade, I would keep this Supremo Spade around. That's real carbon fiber, friends. It's sick. It's durable. It's a single 18650 regulated banger. Any mouth to lung restricted lung tank would be right at home on this right at home on this the freak show mini it's not my favorite thing the flavors kennedy style you know the airflow is kennedy style so the flavors there and it's nice round wire only small claustrophobic deck maybe uh six out of ten seven out of ten wouldn't super recommend it but it's a little piece of vape history you know the Freak Show and the Freak Show Mini were a little piece of vape history. They were wildly popular. Now, as for the drip tips, you're going to have to talk to Tribal Buddha. If you want your setup to look this cool, you know, you're going to have to talk to Tribal Buddha. I don't have any answers for you other than be jealous. Okay. That drip tip was uh, pressed in a little too far. There we go. Oh my God. Okay. Let's end this stream. That was too good. What too good of a way to end the stream. I completely forgot about all the dangle clacks that happened completely Duchess. Almost done there. Let's get over here. We're going to finish up these. going to finish up these here super chats and uh we'll part ways um kennedy kennedy says i struggle with bipolar every day and recovering alcoholic with 11 years vaping keeps my mind slowed down to focus better be kind love each other kennedy be kind love each other as as one of my uh one of my heroes logan exhales likes to say practice radical empathy that's my favorite thing I've ever heard. Practice radical empathy. I'm sorry to hear of your struggles with bipolar. I believe in you, Kennedy. I believe in you. Congratulations on your uh, 11 years. Congrats. Vaping, you know, it's so many things. It's not just quitting smoking. It, it's so much more than that. So much more than that. You're, you're an example of that, Kennedy. DD Dammit says, uh, I just emailed the link of the video I spoke of. Prepare the truth butter. Oh, my Lord. All right. I'll prepare. I'll prepare. If there's one thing I like doing, it's arguing with people on the internet. <laughs> well, there we go. New Wave Dave said, I thought you said, heck with the stream. Casey was rocking around topless. I, you know what? That would have made a lot more sense. That would have made a lot more sense if I just tweeted out, oh, sorry, my wife was topless, so it streams over. <laughs> I was distracted by boobies. <laughs> Fishy, the danglest of claps. Yeah, that was, I've never had a dangle clack quite like that before where the internet is just completely goes away, completely goes away. Then Queen Honey Bunny, superhero chicken lemon head, something like that. Queen Honey Bunny, I love you, man. I hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well, Queen Honey Bunny. Hope to see your face again soon. Um, birthdays. Let's end this by singing happy birthday to the birthday people. Are there birthday people? So far, I got uh, Gate Gunner and Jesse Carnes. We got Gate Gunner. We got Jesse Carnes celebrating some mother trucking birthdays. It's Microwave Ovens Day. Yeah, it's true. Listen, this is a big day for Microwave Oven. He's been petitioning to vote for Grappy for weeks, weeks and weeks now. Not only do we get Grappy, he walks away with the uh, limited edition uh, Grim Army Empire. Big day for, for Microwave Oven. Big day. Um, yeah, let's sing happy birthday. There was another birthday. I thought there was two urn, but I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't 
know who it was. So if that comes, then we'll get there. But let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to the to the birthday people. I expect everybody to sing, and you mother truckers better dance around the room. Skip around the room, sorry. Happy birthday to you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gate Gunner. Also, Jesse Carnes. Also, anybody else that has a birthday, either today or yesterday or maybe tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room. 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 <laughs> Lisa, don't ever stop in the middle of a hoedown. Happy birthday, you guys. Happy mother trucking birthday. Happy birthday, Gate Gunner. Happy freaking birthday. I'm a, I'm a big believer in birthdays, you know? So I like to celebrate birthdays and I like to sing people happy birthdays and I like to hear when people say that they had a good birthday. I just go, yes, you did. You, of course you did. You did have a damn hell ass good birthday. So happy birthday, you guys. Happy birthday to all. And I guess... There's a, hang on, we're going to end, end this stream here with some super chats. There's a few super chats that came in, you know, we're going to read them. It was pretty good, right? Not bad. Yep. Shout out to anybody that gets Simpsons references. Uh, let's uh, let's finish up with these last few super chats. Let's 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 finish up these last few super chats. Sewer rug, it's very gracious of you, sewer rug, DJ. Yeah, he says yo yo and fromputations. What a time to be alive. We vaped. We lost the internet. We even got to go grappy. Thanks for all you do, Grim Green. I'm over thirty and I'm glad I made it. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag yo yo tendencies hashtag boosh sewer rug i love you man rhett's beard boy that last guy's a little wordy huh anyway peace and reason you're right rhett you you're right it was wordy sewer rug oh again with sewer rug uh the guy before me tries to keep things simple huh anyways Thanks, chat, for the laughs and all the good times that this community brings. Hashtag not Alaskan. Hashtag Finn. Mm -mm. Oh, then Rhett's beard. You guys can keep fighting over the last word and just keep sending me money. That's fine. I'm okay with it. We got a little bit of a, a rivalry going here. Rhett's beard says last word. Sewer rug says is right here. That's a burn. That's a burn. Sewer rug one. Sewer rug one. To a rug one. He won that exchange. Earn says the last, last word, uh, but no, you're going to get outdone again. Oh, Gate Gunner. Whoa, that's very gracious of you, brother. Thank you. Says, thank you, man. That meant a lot to me. I'll always remember this. You made my birthday a great day. Gate Gunner, I I'm happy to have helped make your birthday a great day. It puts a smile on my face knowing you got a smile on your face. You know, that's how I roll, bro. Appreciate you, Gate Gunner. Happy birthday again. Ranger Rusty says the last word belongs to me. You guys should just keep this going. Rhett's beard says word. Gate Gunner, no me. Gate Gunner gets the last word. Gate Gunner just storms into the stream, has a birthday, gets the last word. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna do just fine around here, Gate Gunner. You're gonna do just fine. That's it. That's Duchess. Um, let me take a quick look around the room and make sure I didn't forget anything. No, we didn't. Internet's still going. Great. I wish I had some more beer, but I don't. We got a Mutation X for Retro Vape. We got dope panels. We got dope dorky drip tips. We gave away an Empire. We tasted Grappy. Dude, this has been a good stream. This has been a damn hell ass good stream. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sewer Rug says, all done. And then Check Atomizer says, I lost the game. Also, last word. Okay, there it is from Check Atomizer. That's the official 
Last word, I believe. Oh, no, Mallory Gates. Mallory Gates wants to be the last word. Anybody else want to spend two bucks <laughs> to be the last word? Because I could uh, I could get used to this. Mallory Gates, no, it's just me. Okay. Hey, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys uh, crazy. Um, I don't... What a way to end, huh? That's right, Sewer Rug. What a way to end. Sewer Rug, getting that last word in there. What a way to end, huh? Okay. So here's what I'm going to say, you guys. I love you. That's it. Peace out. Be excellent to each other. We'll be back here next Thursday for some more vloggy shenanigans. And uh, I can't wait. I look forward to this every week, week after week. The vlog will be here. The vlog is going to be here next week and the week after that and the week after that and the week after that. Maybe not the week after that because I'm going to go to Mexico, but I'll be back. The vlog is going to pick up. This is the 23rd vlog we've done this year already. And that's a lot. It seems like a lot, but I, I wouldn't change it, you know? I wouldn't change it for anything. I like being here with you guys every Thursday. Truly and honestly, you guys uh, put a smile on my face and it's just a good time. So I'm going to stop gushing, stop rambling on now. I'm going to say one last time, hi to my friend Matt Sinister. I'm sorry that the news and advocacy went long tonight. I really want to know what you think of the Flash movie, bro. I miss you every day. I miss you constantly. Uh, I hope you rest in peace. I hope you're you're getting some sleep. I hope you're getting some sleep. So that's what I'm going to say. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, Rhett's beard says chowds. Then sewer rug said clucking. Then Ranger Rusty. Okay, Ranger Rusty, you, you're, you're the final. You're the final nail in the coffin. Snoochie boochies. Snoochie boochies, mother truckers. Here's Yak Song to take us out. This is my BFF own boy OC singing to us. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll start this machine all back up on Monday. We'll get back to videos and streaming and streaming and streaming. So I'm going to say good night. I'm going to say I'm going to go walk the dogs. I'm going to go hang out with my patrons. And now, officially, it's going to be hashtag shed time. Peace out, you guys. Just be excellent to each other. Always snoochy boochies. I believe I could fly. I believe I could touch the sky. Any time of year. Dun, 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 dun. I believe I could.